are you? How are your potatoes? Mine are mashed, feeling good. Welcome to the show. See the cat, give a pat. I like air horns and a dab. Number one, have some fun and slap, 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 slap. 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 Tell a mashy. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's up, Slabinos? Welcome to the Slab Channel. It's your boy, PNG Slab. How are you doing? Hello, Noxinator. Hello, CJ Clementine. Hello, Fig Leaf. Uh, <laughs> I'm sleepy. My potatoes are goopy in a... Well, not in a bad way, but just in a, like, surprising way, maybe. Which is kind of in a bad way. I'm just sleepy. How are you doing? How are your potatoes cooking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hairdo. Hairdo. Woo-woo. We're gonna finish Life After Magic today. But first we're gonna chat, because that's how we like to do things. You know. You know how it goes. Uh, you might be wondering, wow, slab on a Friday? To what do we owe this occasion? Um, I forgot that I have plans on Sunday. <laughs> it's Steven's mom's birthday party celebration. Don't tell... Don't tell Steven's mom that... Well, the thing is, in it, it's a two-day event. And I forgot that it starts on Sunday, so... But I didn't forget about her party. Okay. I just... <laughs> I just forgot it was a two-day event, but I still wanted to play Life After Magic. I still wanted to stream this week, so here we are. Wow. Isn't that magical? Wow. <laughs> you know, the internet is a magical place. I have a confession. I just woke up. <laughs> it's 5 p.m. <laughs> it's 5.30 p.m. and I just woke up. I was kind of like awake and scrolling Twitter for the last two hours in bed, but I rolled out. And here I am. Ta-da! <laughs> yeah! Woo! It's Neo's fault. <laughs> It's Neo and May. They it's my fault. It's my fault, but Neo and May streamed last night at like 1:30 a.m. or something and they kept going to like I don't know when they stopped. They were up so late. Yeah, and I was like I was playing Pikmin 1 on the GameCube on original hardware and I've been like really 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 into Pikmin right now. They stopped after like 6 a.m. Yeah, I left at like 5 and the sun was coming up and I hate being awake when the sun's coming up. Like, that's that just makes me feel really bad. Uh, but it was my fault because I decided to play Pikmin and I'm like kind of fixated on it at the moment. And like, and then also having them on stream is like... Um... Having them on- Hi, Fig Leaf! <laughs> Having them on stream was like... I had no hope of getting off of Pikmin, you know? I had no hope of stopping what I was doing to go to bed to make good choices for myself. I mean, it was really fun to, like, hang out and, um... You know... Listen to them and whatever, but... uh. It also would have been good if I stopped playing Pikmin <laughs> and, and uh, went to sleep <laughs> before 5 a.m. Ay, ay, ay. 
Like, I have sleep issues, partly of which are medical issues that I'm working out, but um, I lost my train of thought. Yeah, 5 a.m. Yep. Fig leaf. You know what was really funny? Around like 4.30 a.m., Pause showed up in chat. Pause showed up in Neo's chat and was like, why are you all awake? And I'm like, this is n like not outside the realm of expectation for me, Neo, and um, May, and Kat was there, but Kat's like three hours earlier, so that would have been two, which is still late, but I'm gonna yell at her later to take care of herself. Thanks for telling me. No, no, but here's why Pause is there. I was like, Pause, why are you there? Why are you here? Because this makes sense for the rest of us, but Pause is like, um, you know, Pause sleeps. <laughs> Pause has a regular kind of schedule and doesn't is not up at that hour. Pause woke up in the middle of the night to like use the bathroom and then was checking stream notifications and saw Neo and May were live. <laughs> it's like catching your significant other drinking milk out of the carton in the middle of the night. <laughs> Wait, who's the one drinking milk? <laughs> is Paz the one drinking milk or is it the rest of us? <laughs> it's like, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? <laughs> They'd say the rest of you. Yeah, okay. Is <laughs> you were screaming? It was Stu. Why are you making pudding? It's 4 a.m. Because I've lost control of my life. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, Paz was just momentarily awake. The rest of us... <laughs> the rest of us were just there. <laughs> we're basically having a- we're having a party in the kitchen and like pouring milk on each other. I don't know, that's weird, isn't it? It is. Yes, Slav, you don't have to ask. Of course that's... <laughs> Perhaps pause is safe from a friendly take care of yourself chat today. Yeah, pause is fine. It was so funny to see her there though. It's like, what are you doing here? <laughs> you should know by now the rest of us are like, we operate on a different level. We're nocturnal creatures. Oh no, my pop filter. Now you can hear my pops. Uh, I think this is the first, uh, so yeah, I'm tired and that's PNG Slabbies here. I think this is the first, um, PNG Slabs since, of season two, since I, um, came back from my longer break. It's the same as ever. Season two Slab, let's go. I'm working on my overlays. Whenever I feel like it, um, I've learned about myself that I can't keep a schedule. Like, if I do things the same way every day, I'll get, like, burnt out. Um, and I have, like, 12 million hobbies. <laughs> so I can't do everything every day or, like, once a week. It just doesn't work for me. I need, like, other people to, I don't know, make a schedule for me, I guess. I, I don't even want that. When the overlays get here, it'll be season three. Season two is like an OVA. Yeah, it's like, you know how some anime do, like, a mid-season theme song shift? Like, that's what season two slab overlays are gonna be, like. It's like midway through season two is suddenly things change. Maybe there was like a mid-season arc that concluded or like a new one was introduced. Wait, new slab theme? Oh, no, not new slab theme. No, just like some anime. No, don't say that. <laughs> don't just... No, the slab theme song's fine. I wouldn't know how to... I would just like re-record it with like, I don't know. I could re-record it. With like a real drum set instead of the drum, the like, 
a drum kit thing. <laughs> yeah, so don't do this to me, Figly. Slav, I'm really not trying to give you extra work. I'm sorry. Here's the thing, Figly. You know, like, I didn't realize, or I forgot, but when Sean, DMG Sean, wanted to do uh, that Sonic 1 race, that was a joke. He was kidding. He was just like, hey, do you want to race me in Sonic 1? And I was like, okay. The moral of the story is you can't make jokes like that around me because I'll just think it's a good idea. I'll just do it. <laughs> I'll just do it. So be careful. Be careful the jokes you make. Be careful what you wish for. Now I'm thinking about a new theme song, Fig Leaf. Because the whole starting screen's gonna change and new music will be there. So, I mean, it would make sense. I want to make the Cool Junior themes shorter. That's something. But, anyway. Was I gonna say that? Oh, there was a reason why I brought that up. It was to say... Uh, well, I also don't intend to change my PNG. But, uh... Um, the artist that I commissioned about a year and a half ago for my profile picture has opened commissions again. This, this picture. I mean, it's a square, but in this, this is just on Twitter. This art is Nico Nom Nom. Do I have a, I think I have a, yeah, there we go. Um, Nico has opened commissions again. They were open. The commissions were open for four hours. <laughs> then they closed again because there was demand. And they had put out, like, uh, a couple days before, like, Hey, I'm gonna open commissions. I'm gonna open them on Tuesday, I think. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna get all my commission materials. I'm gonna decide what I want. And I'm gonna camp out in front of your shop. Well, I said that and to myself. And then uh, when they opened up, I was like, me, <laughs> me, 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 me. I need a season two slab icon. We need a season two slab icon, new profile picture. <laughs> and their art skill also increased. So I'm like, like a lot of times I don't notice when artists grow. Like, I don't have that keen of an eye, you know, but their, their, like, style got, like, it's palpable. Well, let me, uh, well, I don't think, here's just some art they made. Let's just look at this for a second. And so I was just like, yeah, it makes sense. Oh, well, when I first commissioned the artist, I wanted to stick with the same artist anyway. Um, I was looking for like someone I could do repeat repeat commissioning and um, it has worked out extremely well. Um, and yeah, it's just also cool that while I the, within the past year and a half they've been like experimenting with different things and like their art skill has changed and increased and so now it's like I'm like growing with them I guess in a kind of a way but this is Nico um oh gosh oh gosh big big screen oh yeah okay we'll just do a whoa ooh, ooh, whoosh yeah <laughs> now let me make this smaller um but i really love all of this bam um yeah and so i'm on the list i'm in the queue i'm in the queue to get a new profile picture I'm very excited.
Um, and they opened up these, like, emergency... Well, not emergency. That sounds too, like... That sounds like what it's not. They want to get Pikmin 4. <laughs> they want to get Pikmin 4 and Ghost Trick. And so this is a way to pay for it. And I'm like, hell yeah, I will commission you so that I can help you get Pikmin 4. So... Um, I started playing Pikmin 1. <laughs> We're talking about Pikmin now. What do y'all think about Pikmin? I have a story about my life with Pikmin. But have we played Pikmin? Do we care about Pikmin? Pikmin's like a really funny series to me. Because it's like so niche, but it's also not niche anymore. If it ever was. But like... Yeah. Um, I got Pikmin 1 on the GameCube way back in the day when it was new, as all of my GameCube games are. Um, and also common to my GameCube experience, I never beat it. <laughs> I never got close. I got to like, I don't know. I there you so you're stranded on an uh, a planet and you have 30 days to collect your ship parts so that you can rebuild your spaceship and leave this planet that's toxic for you and then you meet the pikmin which are like tiny little be bean like creatures that are they're they're kind of like ants that stand up <laughs> but they're also plants um, we know, yeah, Pikmin. And, um, you gotta s listen. Pikmin is the absolute most accurate war simulator. I am a commander, and I'm sending my poor children into war. And if any one of them dies, my heart breaks. And they're going to die. It is the most b brutal game I've ever played. I think it's more brutal than like, um, uh, like any of these other games that are actually about war. Call of Duty, nah. Medal of Honor, nah. Um, I can't name any more. <laughs> it's not my genre. <laughs> but Pikmin's more hardcore than those. Is I I'm dying on this hill. I will die like my Pikmin have, countless times over and over. I will die on the hill that Pikmin is a more accurate and brutal experience of war than any war game. Bam. Is it a hot take? I don't know. I just think it's accurate. Uh, so when I was a kid, I was so scared. Well, I was... It was what... When was this? I'm gonna look up the release date, but it had to have been around 2000. So I was like 10 years old. Uh, Pikmin 1. Release date. Agreed. Pikmin is the most hardcore, brutal, dark war simulator. It, literally. Like, I'm not even kidding. And I don't think you think I'm kidding. Um, but it really is came out in 2001. Pikmin 1 in October. Was that the Japanese or the English release? Mm, it was nearly a worldwide release. It came out in Japan on GameCube on October 26, 2001. And then it came out in North America about a month later, December 3rd. So, um... But yeah, so 2001 I was like 11. You should not send an 11-year-old out to be a war commander. A commander of troops in war. It was horrifying. I, like, since there's the 30-day limit, I, like, on day five or something, I only had, like, three of the pieces I needed. And I kept trying, but I was always behind. And that was really discouraging for me, and it was, like, horrifying. Because the second 
our third map, the second big map you get to is um, really dark. It's like in a cave. And um, that was really scary. <laughs> I'm, I was also an 11 year old and to this day too, Luigi's Mansion frightened me. That like genuinely scared me. And I think all you have to do is put in shadow. I mean, Luigi's Mansion isn't really that dark. Like, it's not really that shadow. It's just like the sound design of Luigi's Mansion and the overall atmosphere is really well done. I was so scared. I haven't beaten that game either. I'm kind of in my beating games that I played as a child era. And it started with Sonic. This is TMG Sean's fault. Because uh, I beat Sonic 1 after our stream. I then went back and beat Sonic 2. I then also got to Dr. Robotnik in Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. That's super hard. <laughs> I'm a mean bean machine master now. Well, almost. I still have to defeat Dr. Robotnik, but... Dude, Pikmin is so hard. Steven told me about your experience, and I think it was extremely similar to mine. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I put it down. I tried a couple of times to d get further, but, like, I never could do it. I, I also didn't have the concept of, like... You know, play it once and then as data collection and then play it again. <laughs> well, I definitely had that concept from JRPGs, but I don't know. Uh, for Pikmin, I was like, there, I don't want to hurt them. <laughs> it was so overwhelmingly difficult and sad. I love Luigi's Mansion, though. So strong recommend you pick it back up. I think I will. I think I will. I'm on my Pikmin era. Also, like, I'm gonna play Pikmin 2 next, I think. But yeah, I think Luigi's Mansion, it's inevitable. Because that's like one of the games that is like, oh, I never beat that. I was so scared to do it. But now I'm like, now I'm an adult. I have a big adult gamer brain. I can do it. I believe in myself. It's a game for children, right? <laughs> <laughs> I could do it. <laughs> uh, my goodness. I don't know. I don't really think about games as for kids or not. Unless they're like actually for like four year olds learning how, what colors are. But <laughs> obviously they're for adults. <laughs> They're for me. <laughs> um, yeah, so I beat Pikmin 1. Did I say that? I beat Pikmin 1 and I didn't get all the parts, so maybe I didn't beat it. Oh no, okay, so my first run, I got to the 30 days. Let's put it that way. I didn't beat it. The second run through, I did beat it, but it was... You can't feel satisfied! Because I just brought everyone through war. There's no satisfaction at the end of war. I was like, okay, now I'm gone. And the Pikmin have learned to fight, so that's great. I had some good feelings from it. But mostly I'm just like... I don't know that I enjoyed Pikmin as much as I had an experience with Pikmin. I had such a valuable experience with Pikmin... I don't know that enjoyment is the right word for it. <laughs> Mario teaches typing actually has a deep competitive community. Ooh, let's go. I love that. I hope some of those people, if not the majority, learned how to type through Mario teaches typing. The current, I'm on my third run now of Pikmin. I forget why I said that. <laughs> the nah. I don't know what I said either, so. Sometimes, like, that's when the delay, that couple seconds delay, or however long it is. I'm just like, that was just something I said. Like, it's fine. But I guess not. 
Sometimes I can't line up exactly what things are in response to. Um. Uh, this this last this third Pikmin one run that I'm on, I'm just trying to like. Well, I'm trying to get the parts as fast as I can, but I'm also trying to beef up the Pikmin population because they deserve it. They deserve to live a big, long, healthy life because I love them. I love the Pikmin so much. You can't love your soldiers in war. Well, you can, but I don't know. Is loving your soldiers a weakness or a strength? I think it has to be a strength. Or if it's a weakness, then... Well, I guess war is brutal, but... I never want to sacrifice my Pikmin on purpose. It's always an accident. Pikmin is also like... I don't know if there's Attack on Titan video games, but Pikmin is better than those. <laughs> if those exist, Pikmin is basically... Attack on Titan. Oh my god, the brutality. The brutality is off the charts. <clears throat> it's so sad. Yeah, I think well, Luigi's Mansion is on. It's gotta happen. Um, But yeah, since like everyone's talking about the Pikmin 4 demo, my artist is that I'm commissioning is... Um, very into Pikmin, and obviously Robo Steven loves Pikmin. I c Steven's replaying Pikmin 2 right- 2? I think it's 2. Right now. Um, it's a very big Pikmin fan, so I'm just like surrounded by Pikmin at the moment. And every time I'd watch Steven play, I was like, I can't watch this, it's too sad. They're all dying. This is so sad, I can't do it. But now I'm a war-hardened general. And I don't know that that's a good thing. <laughs> but now I'm ready to play Pikmin 2, and then Pikmin 3, and then by that time Pikmin 4 should be out. I did play the demo and I enjoyed it. Well, again, quote-unquote enjoyed because I accidentally had... The, okay, slight. I don't know that this is a spoiler unless you're trying to not learn anything about Pikmin 4, but quick Pikmin 4 demo talk. You've got that dog. You got the new dog, o Ochi. And you and all the Pikmin can ride on Ochi. I ended up getting stuck in a corner and I fell into water with 30 Pikmin and I couldn't get them out I lost them for nothing and that was the saddest thing I've ever done in my whole life they died for nothing those poor little creatures war is brutal we weren't even in battle we were just exploring and walking. Jeez, them. They're gone forever. That's messed up. Pikmin's messed up. <laughs> I think it'd be funny to go on a whole rant of like how uh, brutal things are and then at the end drop that it was Pikmin the whole time. Like, dang, this is such a like intense thing about war. Oh, it's Pikmin. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. I think, um... There's no smooth segue from that into Life After Magic. But... I think I'm ready to get into the game. Ah, uh, woo! Let's do it. Already. Life After Magic. This is a free game on Steam um, that was featured in the Wholesome Direct a couple weeks ago. 
It said that it takes about five hours to get through. And I was like, oh yeah, that'll be like a stream or two. This is stream three because I forgot I read a lot. There's a, a streaming has voice act. Well, there's no voice acting. I'm the voice actor. I'm the reader. And also I go on slabby tangents, so... <laughs> So naturally, it took more than than uh, five hours. Um, but we are we we're near the end. This is definitely the finale, unless like the fin the l last bit of the ch of the game is like super long. But um, quick story recap: magic. This is basically Sailor Moon, and the Sailor Scouts broke up and have been living their separate lives. It's 1999, on the cusp of the year 2000 of Y2K, and our magic's starting to fizzle. And we're reconnecting, too. We've all got back together. We're reconnecting. We're learning about ourselves <laughs> and each other. And life. And we just discovered who our villain is. That magic has been fading, and we learned that this was because of somebody. This was because of the CEO of the makeup company, um, who is draining our powers through the makeup samples that she's selling, or that she's giving away. And everyone who got these samples is feeling lethargic and zombie-like. She's gonna take over the world or something. Um, also her trying to date KJ. <laughs> KJ's a non-binary character. Obviously this one. Not obviously, but it's obvious to me because this is the one that I liked the most. And then they dropped that they're non-binary and they've got the cool little hair. And... Yeah, so we're, like, also doing a little dating sim on KJ. Um, yeah. Let's do it. We, uh, just broke into the- or we just got out of- We broke into the CEO's office, we got some evidence, and then we escaped. Now we're all meeting up, uh, with the rest of the team, I think. So. Let's do it. It's our old classroom again. KJ and I agreed this would be the most discreet location. When I slide the door o when I slide open the doors to room 3A, I see the whole crew gathered up and looking serious. KJ is standing near the blackboard, clearly mid-explanation. They breathe a sigh of relief when we lock eyes. Oh yeah, and we named our character Chat, which is always going to be distracting to me. Chat, good to see you made it back in one piece. Seriously, I'm glad you're okay. The rest of us took time off today. You're wild for going into your shift. Oh yeah, we went to work. Sorry to worry everybody, but it's important for me to see what's going on at the store. Our customers have changed. The makeup is really affecting them. I also wanted to make sure Lise was okay. I'm sure KJ filled everyone in already, but Annalise saw us. Well, she definitely saw me. And she definitely remembers your store location. You and Lise made an impression on her. Right. Needless to say, I'm expecting repercussions for that any minute now. Miranda looks uneasy. Is she worried about Lise? Hold on, I just need to backtrack. Uh, chat, before you got here, KJ was mid-explanation about everything you learned. Anna Lee runs a gossip mill about magical girls on the World Wide Web. <laughs> She's embezzling charity funds? KJ waves around a CD, all copied onto here in case anybody would like to review in the computer lab. And then you ran into Anna Lee herself? Right, we hid from her for a while. Gosh, I lost years off of my life from that. Anyway, this is the important part. Annalie is fully aware of what's happening with the makeup. 
In fact, we're all but certain she's the cause of this. She's trying to drive up Glamour Prop's sale, trying to create customer dependency. All the side effects, those weird cravings to put on makeup, our magic fading away, our energy levels, and our enthusiasm to get through our ordinary days. It's all caused by Anna Lee, by sentimentality. Oh, is that why I have depression? <laughs> So does that mean she has powers then? Most likely. We weren't able to clarify the specifics though. Ara, is there anything you noticed when you were working with her? Sorry, no. Nothing off the top of my head at least. So we haven't revealed this yet, but it's pretty clear that um, the CEO, Annalie, is part of an old girl group. Or, um, no, I meant magical girls. Girl group is what you would call idols in K-pop. <laughs> um, she he was part of a team and the Fruit Fatales, I think. She was Avocado Anna Anna Ava, Anna Avocado Avocado Anne, and her power was to she could sap out enemies' magic. So. It's pretty obvious, <laughs> but they haven't figured it out yet. Our relationship was purely business. Ara ducks her head. She looks like she's about to burst into tears. And I want you to all know, I'm sorry. Ara, I, I don't know how to express this, but I really thought I was doing something good. She told me this was for charity, that a makeup line based on us would be fun and refreshing for our audience. I know my actions don't look great, that I might even look like an accomplice to this, but... <laughs> Hold it, Bo Young. I know you're not an accomplice to this. Nobody here thinks that. Jackie and Miranda nod along. I've been harsh on you in the past, and honestly, I think a lot of it is still justified. <laughs> Brutal. But that doesn't change that deep down, I know you're not a bad person. <laughs> KJ. Don't look so down, Lieutenant. I'm not about... I'm not about being a magical girl anymore, but we're still a team. Ditto. And Ara, all I'm hoping is, maybe at the end of this, we can start being a little more forthcoming with each other. I know I'd like to. Right. Alright, that's a point for emotional vulnerability. Yeah! <laughs> I've seen this group struggle with authenticity from day one. Trust me, it's a hurdle for me too. But everything's a process. It's something we have to train ourselves to be aware of. Jackie's grown surprisingly wise over the years. It must be all that teaching she's doing. Ara's eyes finally well over and she bursts into tears. <laughs> Ara! Thank you all! I know we have our differences, but what I really wanted is... is, is I just wanted to be friends again! <laughs> the room is silent for a beat as everyone looks stunned over Ara's confession. Hmm, funny you say that, Ara. You've been our friend this entire time, as far as I'm concerned. And we can be better friends now! You guys! <laughs> Ara looks at KJ expectantly. KJ clears their throat. Uh, yeah, we can be friends. As long as we work on accepting each other's different viewpoints, yada yada. Yeah, Ara, as long as you stop being transphobic and mean. KJ looks a little flustered. I think they've used up their capacity for zappiness for the night. Ara nods. I hear you, KJ. I'll continue to hear you out on anything else, too. Finally, it's starting to feel like the Sentinels are back in the game. Oh, she's not transphobic anymore. I'm touched, but what were we talking about again? All oh, right, the evil plan. Huh? Oh, sorry. I think I got us off the rails. <laughs> Always a drama queen, this one. Ara punches KJ in the arm, but it's playful. Ah, About the makeup. If I remember correctly, 
Isn't it scheduled to drop on New Year's? Ugh, earlier actually. New Year's Eve, which is tomorrow. It's all on the CD. Although, Anna Lee verbally confirmed it too. Something about the dawn of a new millennium. Ara suddenly gasps. <gasps> oh my gosh, I had to almost forgotten. I was so wrapped up in my feelings about being seen as a potential accomplice. Anna Lee actually called me herself a few hours prior. Something about a company-wide New Year's Eve party at the Glamour Pop headquarters. We're to go and we're gonna break up a party! We're breaking up a party, babies! I think she said it was on the rooftop. It was weird that she didn't have an assistant call instead, but... Maybe it's not company-wide. It's a party for two. I forgot about that, too. She mentioned that in the office. She has some... She had some messed up sadistic line about wanting to make you watch the destruction. God, Annalie... Oh, we're not breaking up a party. She made it clear to me that she was expecting big-time sales on New Year's Eve. Right, all the retail locations have stockpiled a bunch of it for release. I think she even mentioned selling it on Glamour Pop's webpage. Online shopping's the future, she said. I think... I didn't think a company... I didn't think a corporation celebration... I didn't think a corporate celebration for all of that would be suspicious, but come to think of it, I don't know anyone else on their marketing team who said anything about a party. Is it really just gonna be her up there alone? Well, at least we know where to find her. So what do we do? We only have so much time left. And frankly, this sounds like a massive operation. I don't even know if we have the cast capacity to stop the sales of this makeup line with the only one day left. But we have to figure her something out. The group goes silent and turns their focus towards me. Well, any ideas, princess? You've always led the charge for us. I... KJ's right. I always have- I have always led the Sentinels. Led them into dangerous situations, totally head first, sometimes without a concrete plan. And while there's plenty of fond memories, there's scary ones too. I know I took a- I know it took a toll on my teammates. It took a toll on me too. To be honest, I don't want to pick the plan for us, at least not right now. I know we're on a tight time constraint, but thinking back on past experiences, I'd like us to carefully consider our options before deciding on anything. And I want everybody to seriously consider whether or not they're okay to take this on. I look at KJ specifically, Miranda too. I know some of us are trying to move on from the magical girl life. I want you to know I respect that entirely. A flash of sadness crosses Ara's face, but she nods along. So please, let's sleep on it, at least. I appreciate that. Katie doesn't say anything, but I can tell they're carefully considering what I've said. Sounds good to me. I do my best thinking during uh, the morning runs anyway. I'll think on it too. I'll come up with a strategy that'll blow a chat out of the water. KJ and Miranda echo their approvals to meet the following night. <laughs> then it's decided. Tomorrow, we'll figure this out. As the sentinels scatter out of the classroom, I'm left with a tremendous sense of relief. Of course, everything about the makeup line in Anna Lee worries me. The thought of hundreds, no thousands, of innocent people being subjected to the ill effects of sentimentality utterly horrifies me, but at least you have your friends. But for the first time in a long time, I get the feeling like I'm not alone anymore. I exhale and make my way home to Alistair. Finally, time for bed. Alistair curls up in bed with me and falls asleep on his side. He always hogs the mattress. It's New Year's Eve morning. It always seems quiet the morning before a fight. For now, I should check in on the people in the store and make sure it's okay. Perhaps do a little recon on what we might be facing later on. Excuse me. I walk in up to the store and... It's on fire. Let's go. <laughs> I just think it should have been because, like, you maybe not be able to to stop every store, but this is your store. Like, surely you can 
get rid of the products one way or another. So it's on fire. Like, engulfed in flames on fire. The windows are smashed open, and through the flames, I can see makeup scattered all over the floor. But this seems like it's people rioted to get it early. The stacks of samples we had for sentimentality are all gone. Does Anna Lee even realize how far she's taken this? The customers are s are so crazed by magic, by makeup, they are arsonists now. I think I should make a tactical retreat. Quickly. Very quickly. I'll spend the rest of the day preparing. Tonight we'll decide everything. I walk briskly to our meeting place, K Cove Park, 8 p.m. as promised. Alistair was left at home, even though he usually advises us before a battle. He can't talk anyway. And frankly, I'm worried about taking him outside after what I saw at the store. I spot KJ's motorbike first, parked by the cars, and then I see the crew- Excuse me. And then I see the crew gathered around the waterfront. I told you I was tired. I haven't finished my coffee yet. Quick tangent. Um... Am I? Yeah, uh... Like, am I gonna go on a tangent? Well, basically, I'm nocturnal. And I have also some other things that I don't want to talk about on stream that are, like... Uh... There's, like, many reasons why I'm a night owl. Beyond, like, in addition to it's just where I am naturally. And, um... It doesn't help that my friends start streaming at 1.30 a.m. <laughs> but uh, I'm trying to be kinder with myself. And I have a work situation where I can choose. I just have like a deadline and I can choose when I work. So there's not any reason why I need to be awake at like 9 to 5 hours or like what general the general f vibe is of like you know it's you should be up early morning and you should do this and that like there's no reason for me to do that beyond just like the social pressure to do so and so i'm trying to be kinder to myself and just like i'm tired i need to sleep i need to sleep and a lot of times i'm not sleeping throughout the night like i'll wake up and stuff I'll wake up and go back to sleep and wake up again. And, like, it's not really viable for me to be sleeping at times that are socially uh, requested. <laughs> so I'm just trying to be kinder with myself and, like, listen, I need to sleep. My body needs sleep. And if my sleep is going to have me sleep until 3 p.m., like, I'm going to sleep until 3 p.m., um, because I need it. And, yeah, I'm tired. I kind of woke up just before stream. And that's fine, because who cares? I mean, plenty of people do care. Or not, or not care care, but, like... It's just, like... There's... There's pressure to, like... Be awake and asleep at these certain times when it's just not good for me right now to do that or maybe even at all to do that but <laughs> um yeah so i'm drinking my morning coffee at 6 p.m and you can go and get your lawyers and try to sue me but it's not a law and i don't have to drink my coffee in the morning so Go lick your toes about it. All right. Everyone looks worried. When we last left off, I thought we were in a good place, but... Hey, I'm here. I wave and try to flash a reassuring smile to the group, but nobody reciprocates. At least it seems the group has put some real thought into our, demo into our dilemma. Try to be encouraging. Say something... Let's say something serious. Let's match the mood. This is a momentous day for the Sentinels once more. Confused stares. Um, thanks everyone for coming. Uh, how are you feeling? Awful. I haven't used- I guess I should have been 
<laughs> encouraging. <laughs> I haven't used the makeup, obviously, but work. I mean, the Glamour Pop store is on fire. Literally. But good news. A healthy separation period from the makeup has caused my powers to come back. They're definitely not at full capacity, but it's something. You should have brought your cat. The cat already has figured out everything. The cat has figured out everything, like, over a month ago. But we can't hear him because our magic is dwindled. And I was hoping if it's like this for me, everyone else should be in a better state as well. The group asserts one by one. Jackie's flames are burning brighter. Ara's song are, songs are potent again. Miranda's bursts of stardust are bright and lively. KJ's bubbles are properly bubbly. <laughs> Ara raises her hand first, looking determined. I say we destroy her, straight up. <laughs> she betrayed me, betrayed us. We collectively gawk at her. Why are you looking at me like that? That's the only realistic option here. I call dibs on the final blow. She's gonna like cut her head off, oh my God. Damn, I was hoping for that one, but I guess you're well within your rights. Hold on, what do you mean destroy her? Like, kill her? Um, I mean, seriously, Bo Young? I never said kill her. Just rent her completely incapable of doing anything anywhere ever again. Anyway, what does the rest of the group think? Uh, the rest of us thinks that is not good. Honestly, I don't see any way around it. Well, we have to fight her. It's all I ever done I've ever done when we've confronted villains. Magic wasn't always a positive force in my life, but it's within me, a part of me. I don't want to be a magical girl anymore, but I won't walk away from our last fight. Our last fight. I agree, Miranda. Jackie raises a fist in the air. Annalise caused too much trouble for the world already. We should follow our tried and true path. I say we fight her head on. I see no reason for us to hold back. Even if she is quite beautiful. <laughs> Relax, Jackie. <laughs> Jackie, she was totally playing you at the makeup store. Don't fall for it. So? She's evil and gorgeous. They all are. I can change her. <laughs> Jackie, relax. Jackie gives us a grin. Maybe she's trying to lighten the mood. Jokes aside. Is it a joke, Jackie? Like I said, she's the disaster gay. <laughs> she's... Uh, I think I said that about her. Honestly, there's all of them. <laughs> all of them are in their own ways. Things have gotten seriously out of hand, and the longer we wait around, the more people could be hurt. Only a matter of time before someone like Layla gets caught up in this. That's why I think the direct route is best. That being said, I might not mind roughing her up to get her to stop. But any further than that, and I would be setting a miserable example for Layla as her mentor. Let's talk about... Let's talk her down after we stop her. For all we know, she might be messed up from her own powers, right? We don't know. Violence may be necessary, maybe a less violent approach, say nothing. Um, I mean, we don't have any other option that we know about. Everyone's kind of like, if I say maybe a less violent approach, will like our character actually give an option? Like, we could drain her, because we could drain her magic. Also, or we could figure out maybe we could drain her magic but um like the other thing we know is that one of her uh, the Anna Lee was part of a magical girl group and someone in her group uh died in mmm sadness <laughs> okay if you catch my drift uh so i don't want to continue this cycle of magical girl abuse like we could probably win this with the power of love 
But saying violence may be necessary doesn't mean we have to choose violence. Like, I'm gonna say violence may be necessary. Maybe someone else can give us a different option. We've never backed away from a fight before. We should be ready. That's what I'm saying. Let's kick her! <laughs> it's not exactly what you said, though. Look, all I'm saying is there are alternative routes to winning. We have to fight. This isn't what any of us want. This is about saving the world. And if a biatch needs to die. <laughs> I thought we said no killing. If it happens, it happens. Ara, relax. There's so much on the line. And it's not like it's never happened in a magical conflict before. I could see KJ's face turning beet red. Absolutely not. What the hell is wrong with all of you? I can't even believe this. And we fancied ourselves protectors of justice? Now the Sentinels, all grow up, grown up, are discussing the ethics of what's essentially a premeditated, aggravated assault. But it's okay if it's a magical conflict, right? What happens, happens. And yeah, Annalie's a total harpy, so it's okay if we happen to kill her in the process. God, just listen to yourselves. At least we had the excuse of being naive teenagers when we beat the hell out of our enemies in the past. But now? Now the majority of the Sentinels can't put together a plan to solve a conflict without object violence? That's sad. Really freaking sad. <laughs> Damn, KJ. I guess I coulda... <laughs> coulda said the non-violence one. Everyone else is looking away with a guilty expression on their face. She's a human being too. A magical one who may be feeling alone. Can't we all relate to that? If we don't try to at least talk her down first, then I don't know who we are anymore. Talking first can put everyone in danger. We can't give her an opening. Sh chat, surely you can't be okay with this. I wouldn't put it like that. Honestly, I see your point. Honestly, I see your point. Oh, you do? So you agree with KJ that the Sentinels are just a bunch of irresponsible, violent vigilantes? We're no better than the villains we're defeating then? I... I never saw us like that. No, I don't think that's what KJ's trying to say. Ara's patience has clearly run its course as she stands up from the park bench to get in KJ's face. Is that really how you see us, KJ? After everything we've been through? I also don't agree. It's never been about hurting our enemies, for me. It's about protecting others. Jackie is trying to put some distance between Ara and KJ, but I can tell she's on Ara's side. Meanwhile, Miranda flounders by KJ, clearly wanting to speak up, but looking defeated. Miranda attempts to interject as Ara and KJ continue to argue. I think that she's drowned out by the others, then yells, Why won't you ever listen to me? Please don't fight. I order you to stop fighting. Please listen to me. I order you to stop fighting? That seems messed up. Oh, goodness. Uh, which one is the best option here? Miranda goes, why won't you ever listen to me? And then I go, listen to me? <laughs> that doesn't feel right. Uh, please don't fight feels very, like, weak. And, like, it'll just be drowned out. I order you to stop fighting might be funny. Well, like, I order you to stop fighting puts us back in our old commander route kind of thing. Which is, like, not what I want to be the character and I want to be doing anymore but also it might break the tension so I'm hoping that happens I order you to stop as leader I it doesn't matter what I say nobody can hear me my voice isn't heard over the arguing frick this meeting is completely falling apart I that was the illusion of choice <laughs> I should have come up with a plan by myself and instructed the team accordingly same as always but I guess it's in character for me, too, to come up with a bad idea and my teammates suffer the consequences. What are we gonna do now? We've fragmented, again, and this time I'm not sure if I can put us back together anymore. Am I gonna get a bad ending? 
I put my hands over my ears and close my eyes. It's getting hard to breathe. I... I think I'm having a panic attack. So lair! Oh, they put it in! This is the... Um, they, uh... I don't like to swear, so... Hey, B-word, bros, and non-binary hoes. <laughs> That's in, uh, Skate, it, Skate the Infinite English dub. And now Solaire saying it. What? How are you all on this fine evening? Finally, we have a common enemy. I open my eyes to see my teammates completely stunned. Solaire Blaze is standing right in front of us, doing his pose with his glasses on. Of course, it's the Yu Gi Oh guy. <laughs> Welcome in, pause. Never miss a stream. Pause never misses a stream, Kit Kat. Frickin' Yu-Gi-Oh guy. Hello, I ate food. Let's go. How is dinner? <sighs> wow, Ara, it looks to me like you're cuddling up to KJ over there. I'm feeling the love. I still found it so funny last night slash this morning in Neo's chat. Uh -huh. I mentioned it earlier, pause. We don't need to talk about how I woke up like uh, like an hour before stream today at 5 p.m. <laughs> I woke up at like four. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was so funny. <laughs> You're like, what are you all doing awake? And I'm still just like, what are you doing awake? <laughs> this is normal for the rest of us hooligans. <laughs> Pause, I got- I've been playing Pikmin 1, and- oh, you already know that, but, um, I, uh, I got really, really- in, I, I, I got through the 30 days once, and then the second playthrough, I beat it, but I wanna do it faster, and also to have more Pikmin- I listen to this music. That's Solaire. I want to do a, my third run of Pikmin is I'm hoping to get the population higher because I'm so sad about too many of them dying, but I'm enjoying. But like, it's such a, I'm just like, oh, just one more day, just one more day. And then also I have Neo and May, their streams on my phone, or Neo's stream on my phone. And like, they went, I guess, until 6 a.m. <laughs> I left at like five. The sun was coming up. I was when the sun comes up. That's when I know I've made, I've gone too far, and I go to bed in shame. Like I'm a night owl, but I don't like being up that late. Like I get like going to sleep when the sun's down. <laughs> I'm not that much of a night owl. That was like a mistake, but it was fun anyway. No, I just got like fixated on Pikmin. I was like one more, one more. And it was like, I never stopped. Yeah. Wow, Ara, it looks to me like you're cuddling up to KJ over there. I'm feeling the love. Got room for one more? Solaire Blaze opens his arms wide to Ara. Come on, Ara, where's my hug at? We're literally fighting right now, can you not? Damn, I knew I was popular, but this, you don't have to fight over me, girls. Solaire's blaze is red hot, scorching and fiery. I've had enough heat to warm all your cold hearts up. Solaire turns to me for some godforsaken reason. Uh, Jet, which is our character's name, you're looking, um, very pale. But in a beautiful way, of course. Your light shimmers like the moon. And I'll be your fiery hot sun. Stop right there. For one, her motif is starlight, not moon. And for two, I'm the one who should be her son. Jackie, no need to be so uptight. We can warm her up together. Can you, like, shut up, actually? <laughs> Can we throw him in the river? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. R is ready. 
<laughs> I like that that came through at the same time as Ara. Can you like shut up actually? <laughs> Everyone turns to Solaire and emphatically agrees with Ara. <laughs> See, I knew you guys could all work together. You're all united in trying to shut me down. I've always believed in you girls, gays, and theys. Okay, shut up. I mean, thanks, but... <laughs> thanks, but also we're still throwing you over into the river. <laughs> the Sentinels have long... Have always stuck together, no matter what foul adversity hit us. Uh, there's no us. You were never part of this. Oh yeah, we beat transphobia, apparently. Um, the main character got over the... Yeah, you may be bad guy, but that does not mean you are a bad guy. Aw. <laughs> yeah. Um, transphobia is over. The main character has accepted KJ and has accepted their, um, the main character has accepted her own internal stuff about it. So it seems. Ara and KJ kind of made up ish. There wasn't really an overt, like, sorry, but, um, the Ara is no longer transphobic. And Solaire has learned that not everyone here is a girl and is doing all these. <laughs> he thinks he may be misogynistic, but at least he's not transphobic and homophobic. Yeah, he's. <laughs> God, you guys. <laughs> yeah, he's awful, but he's not awful. Relax. <laughs> That's so good. Uh, Solaire completely ignores KJ and keeps going. You're all stronger than ever before. This, this, whoever this uggo you're trying to defeat is, it's not gonna phase us. Yeah, we already knew that. Honestly, you didn't have to say that. But I mean it. After high school, I've drifted away from all of you, my, my dudes, and the true meaning of the cards. No one likes you, Solaire. Go home. <laughs> the people who used to put up with me don't anymore. And I try not to let that change me, but it's been hard. A challenge harder than any enemy I've ever faced. I bet it has for all of you, too. As you grow up, you see so much more of the pain in the world, and it's no longer just good and evil, it's morally gray. You may not know how this fight is gonna turn out, but I guarantee you that your chances are better together and united. No, Solar, you should absolutely let that change you. Maybe that's a sign. Oh God, please let it change you. Please change. Oh my god. Everyone's jaws are on the floor. Is that still Solaire plays? But I'm not being fair, am I? I remember that teen boy I met. Ambitious, charming, newly discovered his card powers and wanting to use them for good. And his hair. I mean, what girl wouldn't have had a bit of a crush? Uh, <laughs> do not judge me. All right. That's what, that's what character said. We've all changed, and so has he. But it's nice to see that boy filled with goodness and wonder in his heart is still in there somewhere. Buried very, very deep beneath those sunglasses. Actually, doesn't he have a point? We were just arguing and getting nowhere. We should be ashamed at how our teamwork has deteriorated. Oh god, that makes me feel gross. Yeah, that's not us. We're better than that. We're better than Solaire. This teamwork muscle hasn't been hasn't been worked in a while, but it's there. We have it. You mean I actually said something good? Don't let it get to your head. Wow, this feeling is this is great! What else could I do to help? Uh well, the enemy is the evil is I'm still trying to catch my breath. Solaire has no idea what we're even up against, but he's trying to help anyway. Just tell me what to do! Solaire, at least we're just like three seconds away from saying, go home. Solaire, do you know the makeup store Clamor Pop? It's a major chain around Diamond Cove. Surely you've seen it. Yes, ma'am, I know it. 
Lots of beautiful ladies walking in and out. Don't call me ma'am. Long story short, there's a makeup line that's based on us. It's labeled sentimentality. Our enemy made the makeup. The makeup is evil. The evil must be destroyed. Right, right, I follow. There's a lot of makeup inventory in a lot of stores that need to disappear before people can get more. You up for a little breaking and entering? Entering is one of my favorite- <laughs> Stop, you were doing so well. You're right, I could do this. I could stop the makeup sales while you tackle the enemy. Teamwork, everybody! With a flick of his wrist, Solaire draws a card out of his pocket and holds it up in the air. He's still gonna do it, though. Feel the blaze, baby! See ya. See ya. And with a poof and an explosion of fire, he's gone. Uh, yeah, he did it. <laughs> yep, there he goes. <laughs> Thanks, Tuxedo. He's actually more useful than Tuxedo Mask. I think. I never watched... My impression of, sale of Tuxedo Mask is he just shows up, says you're welcome, and leaves. So Lair's actually going to do something. For once. <laughs> the team is quiet for a moment, eyes glued to the spot where Solaire stood seconds ago. Oddly, I'm starting to feel a little better. Yeah, you all had a common enemy. My work here's done, but you didn't do anything, Cape Flip. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you didn't do anything. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> I'm shocked I'm about to say this, but I think we can count on Solaire to help with stopping the makeup from being distributed further. At least we're getting some help on that front. Now we just have to decide what to do about Anna Lee. Uh, I know it's hard, but we need our leader. You heard how we each want to handle this. We can't do everyone's plan. One has to be chosen, and the person to choose is you. All I heard was one plan, which was, like, to kill her to kill Annalie. I don't think I heard an alternate plan. I really want it to turn out the makeup is just normal makeup. Um, so what you missed was we went into the CEO's office and got proof that it is not. <laughs> that it's like soul sucking makeup and everyone's like zombies from it. And the, yeah. The team here was using the makeup and their magic was like leaving and now they stopped using the makeup and their magic is back or it's coming back. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a different game. <laughs> An AU DLC. Yeah, even I can agree to that. If only to make sure we do something. I'll follow your lead, but I might not respect your decision. We'll follow your lead here. We trust you. The weight of the responsibility is returning, but so is the warm feeling of their trust. It's been them, my friends, beside me that have been my true power. There may be no perfect way to solve this, but we won't hold back down and but we won't back down and let Anna Lee continue her plan. And it's up to me to lead and protect them as best as I can. Let's just save here in case there's multiple endings. See, if I was in the scenario, I'd be fine because I hate makeup nice. Our magic is depleting. I'm fine, though. <laughs> uh, what do you mean? <laughs> you guys just gotta get some sleep. It's because you are all up at 4 a.m. watching Twitch streams. Thank you, everyone. Whatever I choose, I want to know. I want you to know that I love and respect you all, even if we disagree. Your trust means the world to me. I'm ready to lead you. I'm starting to feel better. But there's still the fight ahead of us. We only have an hour until midnight now. Everyone take a moment to prepare themselves. The group takes a breather. I gaze out towards the waterfront. I really want to talk to someone I've grown close to in the past couple days. I want to hear more about their plans. Well, no, what I really want to talk about is us. But I only have time to speak to one person. The choice is important. My last chance to talk to someone before we face Anna Lee. Time is running out. It's KJ. Alistair? Oh my goodness. So Alistair is the you didn't choose a root root. I still find the pause. Why are you awake? Hilarious. Nice. I do too. 
Fig Leaf earlier today, just in the stream, said that it was like, it was like you're waking up and you're seeing your like significant other drink milk out of the carton. Or like not necessarily you specific, but just like the general you. Like you wake up and see your partner or your roommate do you like, <laughs> like what are you doing? <laughs> Literally. <laughs> what are you all doing here? I was like, it's like, yeah. It's like a bunch of people <laughs> in your kitchen. A bunch of your friends come into your kitchen and they're eating your snacks. You're like, what are you doing here? I don't know. There were snacks. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. All right, KJ, obviously. Out of everyone, I want to make sure KJ is up to the challenge ahead. Hey, um, KJ, do you have a minute? What is it? Another ethics debate? No, I just wanted to spend some more time with you. Tonight is going to be pretty eventful after all. I get the sense you need some decompression time. Yeah, I'm kind of stressed out to be honest. Hmm, well, maybe let's walk around the lake? Have another heart to heart? That sounds good. Let's go. We go for a walk, taking our time. There's a minute or two of silence as we look up at the stars together. What's on your mind? Oh, nothing. Just the potential collapse of society. Maybe my friend's dying tonight. Making rent now that Glamour Pop is gone. Just the usual starlight things. Haha, <laughs> yeah. It's kind of wild that we mentally endure when you step back... Yeah, it's kind of wild what we mentally endure when you step back and look at it, huh? Anyway, what were you thinking about? Something a little less serious. I was wondering if Bo Young would want to start a new metal band with me. I think the screaming would be a good outlet for her anger. Get her away from the fussy suits and the merchandising deals and we can make some real music together. Although I should rewind to what led to that. I'm still angry at her for essentially saying it's okay to murder if the good guys do it. But then I was thinking about how we've always been psychologically manipulated by- uh, But then I was thinking about how we've all been psychologically manipulated by evil makeup and it kinda puts some stuff into perspective. Boyoung has been wa wearing that stuff for weeks. I can only imagine what that's done to her. I wonder if she's still thinking clearly. So what happened to the cat? Nothing, really. Um, it's just that, uh, the cat's at home right now because we just thought it was not safe for the cat to be out while we couldn't understand him. But, uh, being able to understand the cat came from the magical powers, so we couldn't understand him anyway. Though, I suspect he'll show up and start saying stuff and we'll understand him, but yeah. The, um, our main character went to her workplace and the store was on fire. And she was like, I don't know that this is safe to have the cat out. <laughs> Even though it's an alien cat or whatever. Just trying to rebuild that bridge, you know? But she doesn't make it easy. And, uh, that makeup also explains some of my recent behavior, too. I only wore it once, but I put on a lot of that stuff for that gig. Guess I really am a rock star. Now I performed on stage while tripping balls on psychoactive substances. Wait, and I drove you home on my bike? That was so dangerous! Yeah, I was gonna say. Yes, but nobody got hurt. But then I was in your room and came on to you and- Oh, I'm so sorry! We can talk about it after we save the world from Annalie, okay? Yeah, that's probably for the best. I think for the first time in my life, I'm actually happy my powers are only good for protecting people and can't do much damage. I still haven't made up my mind about keeping my powers after tonight, but I do know I want to be on that rooftop, especially if we have a homicide pop star on our hands. I know I don't call the shots, but I really hope we can find some other way to stop Annalie. I'm willing to absorb the damage. <laughs> I like this bold purple. I'm willing to absorb the damage while you figure out something. At least try to talk 
her down and use force only as a last resort. But if it does come to that, I'll protect you, princess, like I've always wanted. The team, the protect the team, I'll, as always, I mean the team I'll protect. Flirt or discuss ta- I gotta flirt! I can't let any opportunity go. I gotta flirt. It's okay, KJ. I know you'll be there when I need ye to dramatically fall into your arms. Maybe I'll even do it on purpose. Oh, you don't say. I'll be sure to stay close to you then. I'd like that. For real? I'm not wearing any makeup today, are you? No. Oh my god, this is actually happening. <laughs> but maybe let's put this aside until it's over. I can leap into your arms some other time. Uh, yeah, okay. But would you look at that? Now I'm the smooth talker. I guess so. And with that, we finish our lap of the park and arrive back where the others are waiting. Okay, what are we gonna do? Uh... Oh, okay. We already decided the plan, I guess. I thought it was gonna be a choice. Like a text choice. We climb the stairway of Glamour Pop's headquarters up to the roof level. Just as we predicted, there's no sign of any New Year's Eve party like Annalie has told had told Ara. Even security had been sent home, so KJ had to pick some more locks. <laughs> Eventually, we reach the top and push open the door to find... In the distance, I see a dark figure standing by the edge. They turn around after the... They turn around after the stairway door slams close. Frick, that's definitely... Oh, you came, Ara. Annalie, you freaking bit! Quite rude of you to bring so many unannounced guests. I would have appreciated a call at least. No matter, and the more the merrier. Tonight's a cause for celebration. Annalie, cut the crap! We're here to put a stop to this once and for all. Oh really? Aren't you a little late for that? Sentimentality has already made its mark. The dear residents of Diamond Cove have already fallen hook, line, and sinker. And when the clock strikes midnight, it'll be released to the world via the internet. Our retail stores and warehouses are chock full of the stuff. And instead of handling that, you've chosen to confront me. It goes to show you really are a bunch of washed up has-beens. Says the lady running a gossip forum on magical girls better than being a scammer. So, I think this one that lets her know that we know what she's doing. I was simply gathering information on you all. And truthfully, the more I learned, the more pathetic you all looked. I saw every little success and failure you led your squad into, Starlight. Excuse me? And it's no wonder you've all drifted apart. Inevitable with such mediocre lead leadership, little deedle. Anyway, anyways, I'm disappointed none of you chose to wear the product tonight. Don't you think that's a little disrespectful? After all the work I did. The makeup that de devitalizes us and suppresses our powers? No thanks. You mean this right here? Miranda pulls out the sentimentality concealer. She imbues it, imbues it with her starduck. Oh my gosh. Let me breathe for a second. Let me take a sip of coffee for a second. Miranda pulls out the sentimentality concealer. She imbues it with her stardust magic and explodes it in a burst of fireworks. Her magic is back to being as bright as ever. The black magic inside the concealer's case escapes in a wisp of smoke that accelerates and rushes straight towards Anna Lee. Not suppressing. To be more specific, it's draining your powers. Annalie puts out a hand and the wisp of dark magic is sucked into her fingers. And all of the energy it takes, magical or otherwise, goes back to yours truly. That must have been how she had so much power to imbue the makeup, the makeup line. Her plan was cyclical. She built herself up through the makeup. Please, Annalie, I just want to know why. 
Why make us like this? Why throw our home into chaos? Was it all just for the money? Annalie looks me dead in the eyes. She seems to be considering something. Chat, was it? <laughs> A word of advice. There is no life after magic. <gasps> then what are we playing? What are we playing? Name drop. What are we? There's no no life after magic. Roll credits. <laughs> what? All we have is our glory days, where we were on top of the world. We did our best to use our magic for the sake of others, shoving all the physical and mental tolls away in a little box, promising you'll deal with it another day until it all comes tumbling down. What is she talking about? Who is we? And once that's over, well, you already know. We fought for a peaceful, happy life as an average citizen, a normal life. But what we get instead, instead is a thankless, futile day job, nightmares of the trauma we endured on the battlefield. And nobody really understands just how much of your childhood you sacrificed for the betterment of others. As a normal person, you come face to face with monsters that are far, far worse than the ones you fight as a magical girl. Abusive bosses, corrupt politicians, and all sorts of malcontents who'd like nothing more than to drag you down. People that will chew you up and spit you out at the first sight of weakness. All you can do is learn how to play their game. Annalie? I can't say I don't see her point, but... You can start over... I don't agree with you. What about your magical friends? Oh, uh, well, one of them's dead. <coughs> uh, you can start over. I don't agree with you. What about your magical friends? Mm. You can start over. Well, she already tried. Many times. I don't agree with you. Like, obviously. You live different lives. What about your magical friends? I think has the more potential to get backstory. Because... Like, cl clearly the friends are not around. So, none of these are gonna help. <laughs> but what about your magical friends? Don't you have any former teammates you can rely on? What about your magical girl group? Annalie looks rattled at this. Excuse me? They're gone. Two of them have moved on completely, and the other one is buried six feet underground. Annalie lets out a bitter sigh. <sighs> Stop trying to convince me out of this. I'm not slowing down my plan for the likes of you. After your defeat, I'm taking the money and escaping the city. Give me the oh-ho. Oh. It's funny. I dedicate- She's getting there. We're getting there. It's funny, I've dedicated half my life to climbing the ranks of this company, but frankly, I don't give a damn if Clamorpop sinks after this. This loathsome city can burn down too for all I care. Actually, it'd be better off that way. Enough. No matter your reasons, we're here to stop you. As it stands, you're just as despicable as the people you've described. Ha! Huh, I'd never said otherwise. Fine then, if it's a fight you want, a fight is what you'll get! Ooh! I'm throwing that in. <laughs> it's gotta it's gotta be here eventually. Suddenly, magical energy crackles all around Annalie. The atmosphere tingles with power, amplifying as her powers rise. And then Annalie is not Annalie anymore. No more debate. No more magical girls. Your time is over. <laughs> Watch in horror as midnight strikes. Oh, it's January 1st, Y2K. Ah! We hit midnight. Oh, this is midnight. Ah! I don't have a scream here. This is the closest I have to a scream. Yay! <laughs> yeah! Mm. Oh, we're actually fighting! <laughs> there it is! It's cannon! Woo! <laughs> 
Oh my god. Uh basic attack okay, we have attack, special, guard, and talk. We're supposed to talk first. What should I say? I can't believe you did I can't believe you there's a tech character limit. I can't believe you Midnight Lady doesn't care about what you have to say. Oh, we can't talk anymore. Um, special moves are what? Solar Sway, Rising Sun, and Focus. We have Solar Sway. Power up the Rising Sun for next turn. And powerful Uppercut and Focus Gate. Let's do Solar Sway. Um, Sentinel Soul sways back and forth to evade and build up power. Um, let's see what our special moves are. Celestial Igus. Shields a member. Bodyguard. Taunt free. Taunt midnight lady. And then focus. Oops. Wrong. Wait. I want to go back. Okay. Can I click on this? Okay. Good. Oh, we're just going to guard. Braces for impact. R goes again. Starry serenade. Lowers enemy attack. Oh. We want to do that. Lowers enemy defense and focus. Let's do a starry serenade yeah the night's lady attack has decreased raises team basic attack or focus um yeah let's do that let's raise our attack shimmering constellation she creates a new constellation. <laughs> With its magic, the team's basic attack damage has increased. Midnight's Lady's turn. Don't even try to resist me! She's building up power for her next move. Okay, everyone, on your guard! Guard. 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 Child's play! Man, I, I like I've played enough JRPGs. <laughs> I've made enough RPGs for this. Midnight Lady uses Shadow Blast. Let's see. Uh, Starlight Sentinel uses 21. Okay. Heal another member. Heal yourself. Oh, I thought this was Aura for some reason. Talk to her. Um, Anna, uh, was it Avocado Anna or Anna Avocado? Anna Avocado. She doesn't care what we have to say. Let's use Rising Sun. Hits mid lady with a powerful uppercut that does 189. Wow. Mm. Let's just punch. Bubble beam! Zero damage? Oof. It wasn't very effective. We should try using our specials, okay? Yeah, loser! I've, I've read your little message board. Would be a shame if people found out about that. I guess so. Lowers enemy attack, lowers enemy defense. But let's lower the defense. Defense decreased. Special. Uh, all we have is focus and, uh, and to, to raise basic team attack. Miranda doesn't really have any. I love to watch you struggle. Used, wait, what'd she use? Avocado something. Absorbs 13 HP. Heals another member, heal yourself. I think we're okay on the healing, so I'm gonna keep screaming. Last time I said avocado Anna, I'll say ava or I said Anna avocado. Avocado Anna. She doesn't care! Uh. Focus. Special. Taunt? Oh, so that we attack me. Okay, bodyguard. 
They taunt Midnight Lady. Midnight Lady sets her eyes on them. Let's lower enemy's attack. Okay, and do a regular attack. Galaxy Supernova! 52 damage, okay. My magic is mine and you won't take it from me. I'm tired of your meddling. Midnight Lady aims at Sentinel Perigi. Uh, they use bubble shield to protect themselves and take no damage. Let's go. Talk. What else should I say to her? What should we say to Midnight Lady? I don't think I, like, picked up anything that... That would, like, snap her out of anything. Maybe the name of her friend, but I forgot the name of her friend. Fruit Fatales. I don't have that many things to- Ooh! Fruit Fatales! Uh, let's just say that. Ugh! Why are you talking about that? Okay, we got through to her. I don't remember the name of her friend that, um... Passed away. Harrowing high note. Nine damage. Wasn't very effective. We should try to use our specials. Can't believe I... I can't believe I trusted you. You used me. I'm going to make you pay, Annalie. Stardust smash. 30 damage. Uh, Midnight Lady is too stunned by what Starlight Sentinel said. She doesn't do anything. Okay. What's the name? Okay, it was Avocado Anna. I'm gonna look it up. Should I not? I probably shouldn't. Frick, it was... Uh, I just want to look up the Fruit Fatale's names because it was Avocado Anna or Anna Avocado. But one of them... Uh, I'm just gonna look up the names of them. Fruit Fatale's... Oh... If this is even life after magic. Do you have a wiki? Uh, I don't want walkthroughs. I just want to say the name of the friend. Apple. <laughs> Pear. I just want to say the name... I don't know their names. Uh, Google's unsearchable! <laughs> I hate the internet in 2023. I just want the names of the Fruit Fatale. Uh... There's apparently- I, I already learned something I didn't want to, that there's apparently an achievement if you use all of their names. But what are their names? It's called Paid Attention. I'm like, yeah, I'm trying to find their names, though. <laughs> yeah, but what's their name? <laughs> what are their names? Rip Patel. What are their names? They did it in like an in-game, there was a, like, a news program about the, the Fatales, the Fruit Fatales. Um... Um, please. <laughs> S 
Sorry, I, uh... I really want to know. Maybe I'm looking for the wrong thing. Maybe I can search better. Like, I don't want to search too much because I don't want to learn anything by accident. Yeah, I don't... Um, I can't find it. Internet bad. 2023 sucks. <laughs> okay, in the year 2000, Y2K, I could have found a fan page somewhere that someone made that, like, you know, they drew all of the... Alright, so now I just have to say sorry about your friend. Okay. She doesn't care about what you have to say. Okay, I give up. <laughs> I can't do it. My search abilities are gone and uh, nothing's uh, there's nothing good about the world anymore. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's not that bad, but I'm uh, sad I couldn't find that. Let's do another basic attack over here. Midnight Lady used avocado, uh, avocado absorption. Yeah, sucking that magic. Okay, she healed a little bit. Um, we're still good on health. I wonder how strong I am. Purifying Heavenly Beam, 11 damage. We saved the world once and we'll do it again. We need more MP. You just attack. Bubble beam. And you focus. And you uh, punch. <laughs> Use dark dissension. The 60 damage to Sentinel Pedigree. Pedigree. Oops, wrong. Uh, wait, I want to go back. Okay, I can't leave from talking. What should I say? Okay, let me make up some name. Pe pear, pear Patty. <laughs> that wasn't one. Um, you punch. Bubble beam, zero damage. Okay. You need to make every you need to make everyone a zombie to feel good about yourself, huh? And I thought I had self-esteem issues. Got him. Okay. Lower enemies defense, please. And then you just punch. Starlight smash. Just because you're sad doesn't mean you get to hurt people. <laughs> Let's see you survive this. Avocado absorption on whom? Where that we survived it really easily, actually. Uh, okay, a different name. How about uh banana Betty? Oh, I don't want to talk about that. <gasps> banana Betty was actually a name. <gasps> but. <laughs> Oh, I found it! I think Banana Betty was the one! Oh, I don't want to talk about that. That was the- the- that was the name I was looking for! That- I, I just pulled that out of nowhere! Uh, Banana Betty's your friend who passed away? That's really... unfortunate. <laughs> uh, punch. This isn't actually a difficult battle. We have a lot of health. The top bar is health, the bottom bar is magic. MP. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, let's go. Midnight Lady is too stunned by what Starlight Sentinel said. She doesn't do anything. I'm sorry. Because we're about to punch you. 68 damage. Real shame someone as beautiful as you is evil, but that's okay. I'm a bit of a knockout myself. <laughs> 31 damage to Midnight Lady. Goodbye. We did it. We got the border back. <laughs> Midnight Lady falls to her knees, and with a flash of light, she turns back into Anna Lee. We did it. My whole body is brimming with adrenaline from the fight, but I've reached my limit. The sentinel I can't believe it was Banana Betty. The sentinels are gathered around me, looking just as spent. Annalie collapses onto the pavement, looking worse for wear. You insolent. <laughs> Goodness, you're a powerful bunch, aren't you? Either way, it doesn't matter. You've won. Congratulations. I've expended all the power I've collected through the makeup dealing with you all. Truth be told, the whole plan was a total gamble, and I'm not surprised it didn't work out. Annalie shakily picks herself up picks herself up from the ground, turning to face us with a smirk. I was never great at energy management, even though it's my power. Maybe that's why I was always such an unremarkable magical girl. Huh. Even still, I'm disappointed I lost to a bunch of brats. It was sweet watching you all band together to defeat me, despite your distances, despite your differences. So sweet I could gag. But I admit, it made me a little jealous, too. It's over, Annalie. We're turning you in. The makeup's being destroyed, too. Annalie dismisses with a wave of her hand. The makeup issue's already fixed, if that's what you're worried about. It's no longer imbued with my powers. I used it all in our little tussle. Oh, I see. It's really over, then. I can't help but fall to the ground and reload. So that means Solaire is out there burning stores for no reason. I can't help but fall to the ground in relief. I'm on the same level as Anna Lee now. Starlight. No. Chat. <laughs> the Sentinels are a bunch of arrogant, meddling uh, fools who think they can get away with living normal lives despite having powers. Make no mistake, I despise them as much as I despise you at this moment. She sweeps her disheveled bangs out of her face and looks away. But they're yours. So do me a favor, so that this whole nightmare isn't for naught, and keep them close. <gasps> Protect them, like I wish I could have protected her. Annalie. I promise I will. Annalie seems satisfied with this answer, and finally lets exhaustion take over. She falls to the ground, knocked into a deep sleep. Out of her hand uh, tumbles a tiny, worn-looking charm. It's a plastic keychain modeled after Strawberry Sayori from Fruit Fatale. I turn to the Sentinels. <laughs> I ended up making a promise with our bad guy. You've always been a major softie. Hey, speak for yourself. Speak for yourself before you call her out. You didn't even want to fight her in the first place. I'm proud of us, though Annalise sure has the last say. Haha, <laughs> I'm glad to hear you vowed to keep us close. Yeah, did I miss my close-up? Alistair, you can talk again! Our little dude is back in action. Yeah, well it wasn't my fault. It was you that couldn't understand me, yeah. I know how that feels with this lot. Alistair shakes his head in disapproval. Yeah, just count yourself lucky that I stopped Solaire before he blew up an entire warehouse full of makeup. Oh, yeah, I forgot we sent him off to do that. Yeah, I guess you did all right with my sage advice, but if you only you had heard the genius plan I had come up with days before. We're all ears now. What was it? Eh, well, it doesn't matter now, does it? Called your bluff. Everyone shares a laugh and gives Alistair a good load of pets. Here you go, Mashy. Don't worry. Don't worry, Mashy. We can't pet a cat on screen and not pet a cat on screen. 
After taking a moment to recover, the Sentinels move to take an unconscious Anna Lee downstairs. Hey, she's lighter than she looks. Really? Surprising. I figured she'd be pretty heavy considering how full of it she is. Oh! Nice one. She played us, beat the crap out of us, and probably ruins our image as sentinels forever. But I was kind of moved by what she had to say in the end. Are you coming? I nod, but instead of joining them, I feel something swell in my chest. Suddenly, I realize that I want nothing more than to share this moment with someone. So I decide to go for it. It's now or never! I call out to KJ! I find them watching the sunrise over the rooftop. Hey, are you doing okay? They let out a long sigh. There's a lot of feelings buzzing around in here. Thought I'd step aside and take in the view. Feeling what? The thrill of victory? Out of breath? I should join Jackie's gym. Yeah, it's been a while, hasn't it? I feel like I just passed some kind of test. I finally stood my ground with the rest of the team. Didn't panic. Didn't piss my pants. Did you piss your pants before? You used to do that? That's not important. It's okay if you did. It makes sense. <laughs> you know, I'm glad you gave peace a chance by talking to Anna Lee back there. Thanks, chat. <laughs> I was probably asking for too much anyway. The world isn't black and white. When history catches up to what we did tonight, I hope it's clear we at least tried to do the right thing. Well, it's not like you killed her. You had to beat the stuffing out of her. To, you had to beat the magic out of her anyway. We can only do our best, right? Yeah, I guess I have to make my peace with that. <sighs> Excuse me. Younger me would really be proud of older me right now. And between us, it also makes me reevaluate keeping my powers. We helped a lot of people today. I think I forgot about that part of the picture. Ooh, that's some hot gossip. Maybe I should tell Ara. Stop it. We aren't at high school any we aren't at school anymore. I'm trying to have a self-fulfillment moment here. Aw, but making you blush has become my new favorite pastime. Self-fulfillment, huh? How about... I wrap my arm around their waist and look them square in the eyes. May I kiss you, KJ? <laughs> All the cool and rebellious charm in the world can't save KJ from overheating. For a moment, a familiar, tender, and sensitive soul trembles in my arms. It's okay if you're not com- KJ regains their composure and sweeps me down low. I'm barely held up by their strong, tattooed arms. Time stops as we kiss like the world almost ended. I gaze up at that handsome face and place a hand on their cheek. The others are probably watching, you know. I don't care. Nothing could stop this moment, princess. Same, prince. Oh, what do you think? Nice ring to it? I mean, you would kill in a military uniform. Although I understand if you object to the intersecting politics of monarchic power and militarism. Wouldn't Prince and Ply were related? Um, knight, my king, loyal subject? Way to kill the mood, you goof. Well, someone had to say something. I think the others would like it if we wrap this up. Yeah, stop kissing over there. But I don't want to. There's always tomorrow. Yeah, I guess after tonight, there really is. Ooh. Ooh. We kissed. Ah. Okay, Miranda waste no time get this better not auto scroll. This is a lot of text. Miranda wastes no time getting right back to work. I visit her at the workshop a few days after the fight. I've never been to the workshop. She seems brighter and more energized than usual. She tells me she, she's happy. She said goodbye to Sentinel Nova and has reclaimed her magic as her own. It's now a part of her and her work. Her new pieces gain major popularity for their unique stardust glow, and eventually she makes enough Ooh, excuse me, to start her own shop where she can exclusively create and sell her own designs. She gets her own staff of loyal woodworkers, and I can tell they look up to her immensely. Worth keeping her busy, work keeping her busy but we find time to catch up every once in a while the thing then things got a little quiet 
Years later, I get an invitation at my door to an art gallery event. I decide to go on a whim, and I'm so glad I did. It's filled with one-of-a-kind wood carvings done by Miranda. As the night goes on, a piece would combust into a bright, dazzling display of fireworks, her magic at work. She was kept busy by fans and reporters most of the night, but I know she saw me. At the end of the night, she brings over a spare champagne bottle, and we talk until the gallery owners kick us out. It's so clear to me why the stars picked her as the emissary to their light and power. The night sky is brighter for it. Ara continues her idol career. She's like, she like wrote her own. <laughs> Ara wrote her own and she's like reciting it. Ara continues her idol career. She goes on to become one of the most successful idols of all time. Ara, you literally stopped being an idol. You can't go anywhere without hearing her songs on the radio. And she even scores a role in TV drama. That literally never happened. She's a terrible actress, but a wait, who wrote that in? Alistair and I watch every new episode together anyways. We don't get to see her very often, but we're very happy to see her succeed, and I've always been very jealous of her. It's almost suspicious how well she did for herself, honestly. Yeah, suspicious is right. Then one day she vanishes. No one knows where she's gone to, and no one has heard a word from her, even the Sentinels. Uh, we all worry about her, and I hope she's okay wherever she's- Ara, what the hell? Where'd you- what- you're right here in her living room. Lee's. Lee's heard about the battle with Anna Lee on TV. She knows it wasn't the real story, but doesn't ask what happened. With our glamour pop location burned down, we're both transferred to different stores. Sadly, I never really got to make up for that day at the school when I turned her away from the Sentinels. The distance physically and emotionally between us grows, and we drift apart. Boo! Later, I see her on TV tied to a tree fighting de deforestation. It's nice to see she found her place in the fight, but I feel a pang in my heart all the same. Whenever I hear the hoot of an owl, I always feel a little lonely. What's the deal with, like, we all go our separate ways? And we're losing touch again. Did, did I mess up? <laughs> After the world is saved, Jackie returned back to... I mean, everyone's doing well, but, like... Friends forever. Jackie returned back to work at the Golden Glove Gym. It wouldn't be long until she began going to school to learn more on how she can improve her coaching techniques. Despite her busy schedule of balancing work and school, she has always made time to reach out to everyone and keep in touch. As for Layla, she never stopped going to the Golden Glove and I would run into her from time to time whenever I visited. She graduated from high school with a scholarship opportunity thanks to the hard work she was able to put in both school and boxing. From what I heard, she's well on her way going pro and Jackie couldn't be happier since she's finally living her dream as second for Layla's matches. Jackie's uncle is starting to get up there in age, and I know his eyes are still pretty bad. He's thinking about retiring and passing the gym off to his niece. Ooh, excuse me. Jackie's nervous about assuming that responsibility, but I have a feeling that she'll do right by her uncle. KJ! It took some time, but I eventually helped KJ patch things up with their dad. No. That takes a lot of time. We don't need to... Sometimes that doesn't work out. Seeing his child in a happy relationship and being more open, and my considerable charm, of course, helps rebuild the bridge between them. And with his assistance and connections, KJ starts their own IT consultancy doing something called ethical hacking, which is apparently a thing people can pay be paid to do. I have no idea. Okay. Well, I'm happy for that. It's called Sentinet, and KJ says it combines their drive to protect people with their uh, specialized skill set. They have a professional looking website, but in reality, it's a bunch of tattooed computer nerds in an attic blasting loud music and getting into trouble. KJ Heaven. I was visiting. That sounds rad. I was visiting when someone from the government approached them with a job. KJ got so angry I thought they were gonna throw hands at the poor guy. 
KJ pulls a lot of late nights, but when they come home, they have the biggest smile on their face. I think it's because they love their job, but KJ says it's because they get to come home to me. Oh, and in case you were wondering, yes, they still have their sentinel ring. It sits very nicely under their engagement ring! Ooh! Ooh! That's not legal in 1999, in 2000. <laughs> That's not legal until 2007. Uh, sometime. Wait, what year was that? It wasn't legal. Wait, I guess if they lived in Massachusetts. Wait, where does this take place? Okay, there's no, there's no uh, homophobia or like bigotry, I guess. In, uh, but there definitely was. Hold on, no. You're just gonna be engaged until, like, marriage equality is... Same-sex marriage, whatever, is legal. Because, like... Anyway, I don't want to think about the frameworks of everything. Congratulations on your future... <laughs> New Game Plus unlocked Annalise's story. That was a DLC, or not... They made that later. I think. I think that one was later. Anyway, yeah! We beat a game on stream again. Woo! That's the end of what I'm streaming. There's obviously other routes. Um, I think I'll probably play more off stream. Um, but this was very, very cute and fun. Um, there were, obviously I had, the only, the only issue I had really was that I didn't know that there was going to be a transphobia kind of storyline. And I think I would have appreciated a warning because otherwise it's just like... It, it just kind of came out of nowhere. It wasn't like... It wasn't what I was expecting. Um, and that really took me out, but I think it was you know, handled truthfully. And, uh, it's a great game. Yeah! We saved the world! It was friendship after all. Also, there's definitely life after ma Magic didn't leave. <laughs> magic was never gone. <laughs> they still have magic. Oh, I guess they're not magical girls anymore. Some more not magical girls than others, but uh, good stuff. This was fun. Robo Stephen's home. I'm gonna take a break and then I'm gonna play some Sonic. We're gonna play some Sonic Origins. So I do have to get that set up, but I'm gonna send you on a BRB. Yeah, Thank bye. Thank you all so much for being here. And go, um, you've been slabbed. Please copy and paste that as we raid. Um, thank you very much and goodbye. Said to just, Brooklyn, get into the box! Look at Brooklyn and the text breaking through. Ah! Do not give me the casual mode tutorial. Do not. Do not give me the casual mode tutorial. Do not do it, game. I don't need that. I learned it. Do not do it. Don't do it, game! I said no. Uh, it's a bunch of keys. I don't- what do you want? Pokedex says it's a bunch of keys. Ooh, that's not the button I meant, but hey, I'm over here now. And I'm gonna play Awakening. If you're, I'm gonna play Awakening. Hello, Fig Leaf. I'm gonna play Fire Emblem Awakening because I, I, we're playing Tokyo Mirage Sessions, okay? And all these characters are from Awakening, and I don't know who the characters are, and I want to know the characters are, who they are. I really want to know. And y'all keep telling me to play. Okay, we're going for a longer time because Fig Leaf also told me to play Fire Emblem Awakening. And listen, if you're. Figly, I'm gonna play Fire Emblem Awakening. You gotta stop asking me to play Fire Emblem Awakening because I'm gonna play Fire Emblem Awakening. I know it's fun. I know there's like cute characters. 
fact, a bunch of these characters are in Fire Emblem Awakening. I'm not sure if all of them are in Fire Emblem Awakening because I haven't played Fire Emblem Awakening. I just Google image search for Fire Emblem Awakening character GIF and all of these popped up and I don't know if there's spoilers here, but you know, I'm gonna know someday because I'm gonna play- Make sure it fits, fam. Baby Jelly, easy baby game for babies. You're the baby, you lost baby jelly. You lost, and that's table turf battle. <laughs> Let's go. My glorious image. Oh, perfect in every way. Oh, my Waluigi, you shall be mine. For me to control chin mouth distance. Yes, yes. Oh. He's beautiful! Beautiful! <laughs> Glorious! We hit our 10 out of 10 follow call! It's time for a tab! Oh! 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 <laughs> Hydrate, everybody. I knocked something over. My cat in the past. Mother, look at this photograph. Look at this photograph! Every time I do, it makes me laugh. Uh, tu es un chat? Tu es un chat? Tu es un chat? Yes. Oui. Je suis un chat. Nyaw. Take, take care of yourselves, everybody. Water yourselves by drinking water through one of your facial orifices, preferably your mouth, your nose will also lead there, not your eyes or your ears, just these do. Uh, go for a walk. Look at the sun. Eat a vegetable. Don't look at the sun. Don't look at the sun. Experience the sun. Photosynthesize. Slabinos, I just remembered. It's not that I forgot to do my laundry. <laughs> It's not that I forgot, it's just that I ran out of time. I have to go put my laundry in, uh, like right now, because I live in an apartment thing with Shared and the time when it- I can't go too late. So I have to do that now, so enjoy this elongated BRB. Love you, bye! Drink water. Wash your hands once in a while, okay? Did I say look at the sun? Yeah. Don't look at the sun. Be amongst the sun. What am I gonna do when you're gone for a second, Robo Steven? I'm telling everyone to look at the sun. Yar! Not a mutiny on day one! Alright, this is the Slab theme song live. Show's finally beginning. <laughs> I am Slab, you are you. How are your potatoes? Mine are mashed, feeling good. Welcome to the show. See the cat, give a pat. I love air horns and a dab. Number one, have some fun. It's Slab, 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 Slab. 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 <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> slap, 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 slap. <laughs> meow, 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 meow. Let's do another mashy. Tell a mashy. Meow, 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 meow. Oh, uh, yeah. Meow, 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 meow. There you go now. Slap, 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 slap. Slap, 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 slap. Slap, slap, slap. Oh! Thank you very much. Welcome to the Slab channel. We're in full action now. My bass was out of tune. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mist has defense two, resistance seven. Reese has defense one, resistance 14. This little girl who just came on the battlefield, Mist, is stronger than this 
Okay, level one mist, little child. Level six Reese. Uh has less Reese has a battle battle worn priest has less defense than a tiny little girl that just appeared on the battlefield for the first time. No wonder he keeps dying. I'm not gonna use this. That's horrifying. I'm scared of myself, but <laughs> we'll just do a jump scare. <gasps> <laughs> yeah, hi, Avior! Oh, another friend! Air horns for another friend! John! Yes, John. It was game day. Game day! Get out your pig skins! Get out your Fritos! Get out your... Get out your death bits! Game day! Oh, baby! That's what we're talking about! How are we gonna say? Come on up, Chris! Get up here, Chris! Come on, Chris! You just jump! Ah, uh, need people to bully Chris. John! Pog chair, John! Got my number one finger thingy. Yeah! <laughs> Let's see if we can draw an Amogus. Oh, <laughs> 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 no! Don't do a repeat! Don't do a replay! No! Only when I win. <laughs> now do the replay! Now do the replay! <laughs> I'm right here. Now, okay, the Black Knight is, like, the most intimidating uh, fighter. It kills- they kill people with one hit, so naturally their voice is, I'm right here! General Macria! Oh, Sir Black Knight! I hope I didn't keep you waiting! No, I just arrived! Let us proceed! Jump! Oh, good job, Waluigi! Good job! I'M A GAMER! <laughs> uh, I'm dead as I die. <laughs> wow, half, half, halfway! Yeah. Only half to go! I'm a gamer! Thank you all so much for being here. And go, um, you've been slabbed. Please copy and paste that as we raid. <laughs> Um, thank you very much, and goodbye. Excited to just- Brooklyn, get into the box! Look at Brooklyn and the text breaking through! Ah! Do not give me the casual mode tutorial. Do not. Do not give me the casual mode tutorial. Do not do it, game. I don't need that. I learned it. Do not do it. Don't do it, game! I said no. Uh, it's a bunch of keys. I don't- what do you want? Pokedex says it's a bunch of keys. Ooh, that's not the button I meant, but hey, I'm over here now. And I'm gonna play Awakening. If you're, I'm gonna play Awakening. Hello, Figleaf. I'm gonna play Fire Emblem Awakening because I, I, we're playing Tokyo Mirage Sessions, okay? And all these characters are from Awakening, and I don't know who the characters are. And I want to know the characters are, who they are. I really want to know. And y'all keep telling me to play. Okay, we're going for a longer time, because Figleaf also told me to play Fire Emblem Awakening. And listen, Avier, Figleaf, I'm gonna play Fire Emblem Awakening. You gotta stop asking me to play Fire Emblem Awakening, because I'm gonna play Fire Emblem Awakening. I know it's fun. I know there's like cute characters. A bunch of these characters are in Fire Emblem Awakening. I'm not sure if all of them are in Fire Emblem Awakening because I haven't played Fire Emblem Awakening. I just Google image search for Fire Emblem Awakening character GIF and all of these popped up and I don't know if there's spoilers here, but you know I'm gonna know someday because I'm gonna play- Make sure it fits, bam. Baby Jelly, easy baby game for babies. You're the baby, you lost baby jelly. You lost. And that's table turf battle. <laughs> Let's go. My glorious image. Oh, perfect in every way. Oh, my Waluigi. You shall be mine.
For me to control chin mouth distance? Yes! Yes! <laughs> He's beautiful! Beautiful! <laughs> Glorious! We hit our 10 out of 10 follow call. It's time for a tap! Oh! 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 <laughs> Hydrate, everybody. I knocked something over. My cat <laughs> in the past. Mother, look at this photograph. Look at this photograph. Every time I do it makes me laugh. Uh, tu es un chat? Tu es un chat? Tu es un chat? Yes. Oui. Je suis un chat. No. Take, take care of yourselves, everybody. Water yourselves by drinking water through one of your facial orifices. Preferably your mouth. Your nose will also lead there. Not your eyes or your ears. Just these do. Uh, go for a walk. Look at the sun. Eat a vegetable. Don't look at the sun. Don't look at the sun. Experience the sun. Photosynthesize the sun. Drink water. Wash your hands once in a while, okay? Everything else is good, just don't look at the sun. <laughs> Did I say look at the sun? Yeah. <laughs> don't look at the sun. Be amongst the sun. What am I gonna do when you're gone for a second, Robo Steven? I'm telling everyone to look at the sun. Yar, Not a mutiny on day one! Alright, this is the Slab theme song live. Ready? One, two, one, two, three, four. The show's finally beginning. <laughs> Slab, you are you. How are your potatoes? Mine are mashed, feeling good. Welcome to the show. See the cat, give a pat. I love air horns and a dab. Number one, have some fun. It's slab, 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 slab. 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 Tell a mashy. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Slap, slap, <laughs> Meow, 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 meow. Let's do another mashy. Tell a mashy. Yeah. Meow, 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 meow. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Meow, 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 meow. There you go now. Slap, 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 slap. Slap, 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 slap. Slap, 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 slap. slap. Thank you very much. Welcome to the Slab Channel. We're in full action now. My bass was out of tune. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mist has defense two, resistance seven. Reese has defense one, resistance 14. This little girl who just came on the battlefield, Mist, is stronger than this. Okay, level one Mist, little child. Level six Reese uh, has less. Reese has a battle. Battleborn priest has less defense than a tiny little girl that just appeared on the battlefield for the first time. No wonder he keeps dying. Okay, we're back, baby. That was that was maybe the longest I sent us on break ever. But I did send I did uh I put my laundry in. Let me set a timer to get my laundry out. <laughs> da, 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 I have my Nintendo Switch. Um connected. And I don't know that I'm going to stream for a long time. But I want to play some more Sonic, um, Game Gear stuff.
Oh, goodness. There we go. And we can hear this. Okay, nice. Um, firstly, I heard that there are some more table turf. Um, things. Icons. We know how much old Slappy likes table turf. Oh yeah, and more Animal Crossing. Let's look at Animal Crossing first because I think I have all these anyway. Oh good, a pair. I like that they finally got the names of the Animal Crossing villagers. It took them long enough. Yeah, I already have the ones that I want. This one's a Steven one. <laughs> I also don't like how going through here you can feel the internet connecting itself. It's so slow. Like, we're truly running on Internet Explorer over here. Mm. Oh, I need these. Aardvark told me that the, uh, the covers, or the, the, told me about these ones, that these are all table turf, um, what do you call it? Card sleeves. Which I think these four are ones that you get playing the game. This one's little Big Judd. Yeah, but this one's... What's his face? Who works at Ammonite? Sheldon. This one's little Judds, I think. That's the Salmon Run. This one is... Um, Jalonzo? Oops. This one, I don't remember. It looks like a Krusty Sean's, though. But I don't know who that is. And I forget about this one, too. As for these guys... I feel like I should buy them all, but you only get... I have 850. 1, 5, 10, 15. What's that? 150? I can spare 150 coins to get them all. <laughs> all right. Robo Steven, how are you doing today? Good. Uh, exercised. Exercised. Kinda Got some muscle growth. You're getting stronger. Good. My goal is to lift the apartment. Your goal is to lift the apartment mm -hmm. while you're in it? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're going to pick yourself up by your bootstraps. Mm -hmm. Except in the apartment. Except in like a more impossible way. Okay. Without even the straps. Wow. Well, I hope you get your goal. I used to be so strong, y'all. No one would believe me. COVID ruined my life. <laughs> It didn't ruin it, but I'm happy that we're alive. Yeah. Pandemics sure do to, uh, change things in the world. All right, I bought them all. Let's build one. I just changed mine to the Heavy Splatling, which is a card that I champion in Table Turf. It's like in the starter deck, so everyone has it, and I think it's just a good, it's a great card. It's a good opener, in my humble opinion. So let's see. I think, like, I think I might want to keep that character, because that's my favorite card of these ones, I think. I don't know. I don't think about the cards. I don't know that I could name you many other cards and their shapes. I just kind of know them by the shape rather than like what they are. What so I'm a hack is what I'm saying. <laughs> Let me uh maybe I'm looking for something that matches this yellow. Maybe that one. 
And then before I had the red one that brought out the red in the, or the pinkish, that brought out the pink in the heavy splatling. But now we're going to go for the yellow. And then our background, maybe we, like you can match it or maybe like, Like the Jalonza one makes us pop out more because we don't blend in as much with the background. Oh, but then we can just do a plain sort of purple. I might do that purple. Or a dark void. But then again, the red. I'm going to go with this purple. We're going to go with that one. So for friends on there, now that's what you see. Okay. Who's online? Ooh! Animal Crossing! Alright, let's play some Sonic. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh yeah, let me switch category. So as for Sonic, um, it's really been a interesting time for me. Gaming wise, Sonic Origins, and we're. Oh, they took off the two last week. Or whenever TMG Sean and I did our thing, there were two categories it was Sonic Origins and Sonic Origins Plus. It didn't make any sense. Because <laughs> it's like, that would be. It, they basically, like. The Plus is basically DLC. So it was like. Putting the DLC in a separate category, which I don't think is right. Like, I don't think is correct. It should just be the base game. And then also, we had to choose which category we wanted to be in for, like, people to find us. And it's like, if there's two of them, then, like, you're splitting the the viewership. You're splitting what where people go. But, um... Yeah. So when I was a kid, Atari was my first system. I didn't play too much of that, though. It was my dad's. And um, I played some, like, pinball. Not pinball. I meant bowling. And what else was on the Atari? Like, not Echo the Dolphin, but the other dolphin. There's some dolphin game. Uh, and, I mean, we had Pong. I'm sure we had pinball. We had like asteroids. Things that I would just play here and there, but I never was like super. I consider. So then I got like the Genesis and the Game Gear. And I considered the Game Gear my first like actual game system, even though it was technically Atari, because I played that all the time. I played Genesis as well, but it was really about the Game Gear. And on the Game Gear, I had all the weird Sonic games. Billy the Dolphin sounds right. Do you think that's real? Are you making it up because you like the name Billy? Steven, you don't have to be in chat. It's fine. <laughs> it says lurker friendly down there, okay? Just, just want to point that out to you. <laughs> no, I just like the name Billy. Okay, you're lying to me. <sighs> Like, am I about to go and check on the dolphin name? Yeah, get out of here. Listen, this is a YouTube video now. This is for the VOD watchers. Hi, right VOD. Here. You're right here. Yeah, I know. This is for the VOD watchers. If you are... This is... Thanks for watching the VOD. Um, this is record... This isn't going to be on YouTube, but, you know, it might as well be today. I'm like, I'm kicking Steven out. I'm kicking everyone out. <laughs> so just, just sit there, <laughs> sit there and listen. Oh uh, yeah, the perks of like doing Twitch live is, uh, in streaming is to like have the conversation with people or to have connections and stuff. And I'm like, you gotta go. You gotta upload this to Vimeo. Do you need an account on Vimeo? Okay, this music is distracting right now. We're gonna check. Dolphin game uh Atari I think it was just called it's just called Dolphin It's just called Dolphin 
This is it. Dolphin. Do you want to see dolphin? Don't answer. You're lurking. <laughs> Don't answer. Nobody answer. <laughs> I said this is for the VOD watchers. Oh yeah, there it is. There's my dolphin. This is what it looks like. Do we have a video? Wait, is this the game? Wait. Wait, can I play? Oh, frick. What is this website? It's Billy! Because <laughs> it was just a joystick and one button. So, Oh, here it is! Wait. Is this a screen? No, but it's moving. Wait, look at this. What is this? Oh, it's going. Am I playing? No. Might as well me. I can't tell if it's a demo thing or not. I, I, I can't imagine it would be too hard to put, like, a game like that on online. Like, I can play all the Flash games through Flashpoint and, like, and whatever, so... And, like, the entire Flash database is there. So I can't imagine, um... It would be too hard to get all the Atari games together. Dolphin Atari. Let's see. I'm gonna watch a video. We're gonna, um, watch some gameplay. Okay, so I've never seen this video, okay? So I apologize if, like, it suddenly goes off the rails in an unpredictable way. Oh, Sonic's playing. Wait, no, is that... Yeah, Sonic's also playing. I was like, there's no way they used Sonic noises. Any percent speedrun? Look, you're echolocating. That's a squid you don't want to touch. Here. Oh, we, we gotta get the echo locations. It changed colors, I don't know why. Yeah, this is exactly the experience of playing this as a kid. I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> yep. <laughs> like, did you win or not? It didn't seem like it, you know? Is it like we turn red and now we can attack? I don't think so. We got caught. Oh, good. They liked it. <laughs> okay. Anyway, you get the idea. That's that's a dolphin. Play as a dolphin in this dolphin-based game. Yeah, totally. I'm sorry. Yeah. It was called Dolphin. So apart from debating good. <laughs> Thanks, Robo Steven. <laughs> yeah, so apart from Dolphin, uh, I played a lot of these Sonic games. That was the... That was the segue. Or that was the backstory. Whatever. So let's look at these games. Robo Steven, what do you think about the game gear? Since you refuse to leave. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, I didn't mean it. I appreciate that you're here. Anyone who's been intimidated to lurking, you can chat if you want. But I'm always like, you don't have to chat. Like, I literally will sit here and talk to myself. It's fine. And like, hopefully it's, you know, a good background for you or a good foreground. Hopefully it's entertaining or like interesting. I think the game gear is cool. Hell yeah. Rating? Good. Uh, if you are- I'm not looking at the list or anything, so, like, you're safe to lurk and be anonymous. Um, because you can check users in chat and whatever, but, uh, tell me about- I don't know, what's your favorite color of Sonic? An OC, if you want to chat. <laughs> That's the in. That's your easy in. What? Okay, what's your favorite candy? People who like talking about food. Okay, anywho- and I look forward to these responses. Um, my favorite is Green Sonic. 
Okay, so as for what I had, Yellow Sonic, nice. Super Saiyan Sonic. I think I had Sonic 1 and Sonic 2 for Game Gear. I definitely had Sonic Chaos. Sonic Chaos is my favorite Sonic game. Unironically, my favorite Sonic game. Unironically, but I'm not saying it's good. I'm not saying it's a good game. I am saying I probably put the most hours into this game because I would just run around the first level as a five-year-old, four or five years old, for hours. I think, like, I, I never really... I got to, like, the second zone and not past to the second zone, but I just liked running around the first level. I assume it was hours. I, I kept myself so entertained. Sonic Drift? I had Sonic Drift, one of these. Oh, I mean, that's not this one, I mean. I don't know which one I had, but we're gonna play Sonic Drift in a second. This title was originally released only in Japan and is the first in a long line of racing games for the Blue Hedgehog. Plays either Sonic, Tails, Amy, or Dr. Eggman, each with their own unique abilities and vehicles. Steven, you ha you like how incredibly different the Genesis and Game Gear Sonic 1 and 2 games are? Yeah. I don't know that you can even still call them Sonic 1 and 2. I don't know how they got away with that. <laughs> Paws had Sonic 1 Game Gear version on, like, Game Boy? And it was just called Sonic Game. She got a bootleg one, and I was like, this looks familiar. I think this is, like... This might be Game Gear, and but it looks so bootleg. It looks awful. We thought it was just someone like made a Sonic thing. But uh, yeah, it was actually a port of... I mean, it was bootleg, but it was a bootleg port of Sonic. Um, uh, this was just moving by itself, and I'm wondering if my my controller has drift. Let me see if my con other controllers, if my Joy-Cons are connected. No, okay, so that's cool. <sighs> I think it was just gravity. Um, then we have Sonic 2 two-player. Battle mode and driver mode, okay. Sonic Spinball I had for Genesis. Sonic Triple Trouble, I had this for Game Gear. Sonic Drift 2, I think this is the one I have, because I remember that, uh... That guy on the right. I don't know this character, but I I only know him through Sonic Drift. Sonic has so many weird characters. Not weird, but just like... Since they like introduce characters in a bunch of... In each game, almost. I haven't played most of the 3D ones. So I don't know who any of these characters are. There are now six rival racers to compete against with new vehicles and tracks. And then two player. Tails Sky Patrol, I don't think I ever heard of until this or plus Origins Plus came out. Along with Tails Adventure. Sonic Labyrinth, I feel like I had seen before, but I don't think I have it. Yeah, Neo Doodles! Hi. How's it going? Welcome home. I told you I'd still be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care if it's the one Pause has, but if I recall correctly, the GBA port of Sonic the Hedgehog is notoriously bad. Yeah, this, I don't, it was just called Sonic Game, which is like literally bought off the street or something, it feels like. It was actually bootleg. I don't know if it was related. Sonic, I just made some veggie chili dogs. Let's go. Chili dogs hype. Um, oh, I did set an alarm. I have laundry going. I was just going through this list before we play some, uh, Sonic Blast, uh, Drift. Sonic Blast I didn't have, but Sonic 3D Blast I had on Genesis, and it's awful. It was the first game, well, the first game I realized was bad was Pokemon Channel. And the first, but the first game where I dropped it was Sonic 3D Blast. I just thought I wasn't very good at it, but turns out it was just an awful game. I'm trying to be vegetarian for a few months just to see if I can. It's very, very easy so far. Oh yeah, let's go. Enjoy the uh, 
uh, chili, the, uh, oh my god, I can't think of the thing that, the villi, the veggie, the veggie, chili dogs, veggie chili dogs. I should try that. Don't know how to get protein consistently. Yeah. Um, I couldn't do it for that reason. Well, not the protein specifically, but yeah, peanut butters, peanut butter, peanuts, uh, beans. Stuff like that. It's definitely doable in a healthy way. I just have so few things that I eat that I couldn't do it at this stage. I mean, if I, anyone can do anything, I can do anything. I can do anything. But it would be a long road for me to be a vegetarian. Because I'd have to add more things before I take things away. But anyway, veggie chili dogs hype. <laughs> we got Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, which is my fav also a favorite game. I'm at Dr. Robotnik right now. All good, I'm not doing it for a moral reason. I just tend to not like meat that much. If it got bones, it puts me off. That's why you gotta get dino-shaped chicken nuggets. Let's go. Cool. There's no bones in there. <laughs> Unless there's a problem. <laughs> yeah, it'll be interesting to see how your body reacts, I guess, too. I won't say no to a nuggy. Well, if you're vegetarian, you're gonna have to. <laughs> Won't you? <laughs> How are you, Slav and Chat? Oh, I'm fine. I woke up right before stream. <laughs> At 5.30. So, that's funny. Because of you! Because of you! <laughs> you and May streaming at 1.30 a.m., whatever. Pause was here earlier. Might still be lurking, I'm not sure. And, uh... We were talking about Paws coming in and being like, why are you all here? And it's like, why are you here, Paws? You're literally the only one with like a, a socially acceptable sleep schedule. This is normal for the rest of us. The rest of us hacks. Affectionate. It was my fault. I, it was my own fault that I was up that late, but it didn't help. But it was fine. I'm doing collabs with May. I have no choice. That's okay. I'm happy to see y'all. I was playing Pikmin. I have like two games going with him. Yeah, you gotta do it when you gotta do it. It's just that I've been really into Pikmin lately. Pikmin 1 and like since you have the 30 day time. Oh yeah, my new thing. Yeah, the thing of the week. It's always something with that old slabby. Uh, I couldn't stop. <laughs> it's the problem. It's like, they only- it's a day system, so you get 30 days to beat it. And I'm not trying to slab splain, but just for the VOD watchers, okay? Who don't know what Pikmin is. You have the 30 days, so then it's like, okay, I finished that day. Just one more day. Ooh, just one more day. Oh, just one more day. Oh, what is this? Is this Neo and May streaming? Okay, I'll put them on off to the side and listen while I'm going through the days of Pikmin. Oh, this is fun and interesting and my friends are here. That's cool. I'm gonna keep going and playing Pikmin. And then that- and then Pause comes in at 4.30 with why are you all here? It's like, why are you here? <laughs> this is usual. <laughs> this isn't fine. This is not- this is not unusual at any rate. <laughs> uh... And then the sun came up and I was like, oh god. Just one more Pikmin is a classic phrase for a reason. Just one more. Just one more day. You know what they say. Did I do two players? Oh, I did do two players. I just meant Sonic Drift 2. This is what I played as a kid when I was four years old. Pikmin, more like Frickman, this game is hard to get. Well, this music rules! <laughs> oh, it's done already? Let's see if there's a demo thing. 
I like that a lot, hell yeah. This is not me, this is Demo. But I remembered, I forgot all about this game until I saw the trailer for Sonic Origins and this map up top, just immediately I was like, oh my gosh, it's Sonic Drift. Do, 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 do. Oh, that music. I have not opened this since I got this because I, I figured I should have it recorded on stream. I've never seen this game in my entire life. No, because you didn't... Only me. <laughs> Where's the start button? The start button is X. I have to sneeze. Hold on. Yeah. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. Whoa. Whoo. Chaos GP or fear free run? I guess we should do the Grand Prix. Oh, I felt that sneeze in my arms. Should I go to the doctor? Ah. Whew. I played this in the gems collection, but unfortunately the novelty was lost on you. No. It's cute though. Nice. I didn't have a Game Gear as a child though. Yeah, I don't think most of these games are good. I think Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine is better on the Game Gear than it is on the Genesis. Which you both know. <laughs> You've heard me talk about this. But other than that... You had to be there. <laughs> I don't think any of these are particularly groundbreaking. Alright, purple I guess. Oh, is A... B is select? Oh, we're doing PlayStation controls. Sonic... No... Mm, there's missing a... That they spelled Knuckles wrong. They didn't have enough letters for Knuckles. <laughs> Knuckles. <laughs> oh, goodness. You gotta play as Knuckles. Okay. This guy, though, Fang. I don't know Fang from anywhere except for Sonic Drift. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, like, I played him a lot. You played through Sonic 1 on Game Gear. I legit like it way more than the Genesis version. Uh, maybe I'll check that one out after. Uh -huh. Well, I mean, I only went through the first. I know you kept talking about doing Sonic 1 on Game Gear. I'd love to try out an actual game... An actual Game Gear exactly one time? Maybe someone has one somewhere. I think Fang is from tr Sonic Triple Trouble on Game Gear? Oh, I might not have gotten that far because you know me. Well, four-year-old Slab just uh, <laughs> rode around in first stages and didn't do anything else. He's a Game Boy boy! A Game Gear boy? Aww! Fang is my character? I didn't even know. M. Sonic. Mr. Sonic. Eggman. That's Robotnik. Amy. Tails. Let's go with Knuckles. Uh, rival? Auto ma- oh. Let's do manual. My rival's gonna be Fang, because I'd like to see him. Uh, and also, uh, Tails, because we need to have a good heal. We need to have a good one. A good rival that someone hates. Yeah, I just chose Knuckles. I just chose Knuckles. I'm choosing my enemies. And Amy. You gotta win? Okay. Emerald Hill 1. We'll see if any of these buttons work. Tails can't have anything nice. I wonder what the M in Sonic stands for. Mister. Alright, I'm holding B. We're getting ready for a turn. Get wrecked! Oh, I got wrecked. Can I jump? Da, 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 da. Get eat, eat my dust tails, eat my dust tails. All right, gotta pass Fang. I ran into Fang. TMG Sonic. <laughs> uh, oh, I got an item. I don't know what that is. I don't know how to use it. Get wrecked, Fang. Oh, they threw something. Oh, that's pause. I don't know how to use any items. 
All I know is hold B and arrows. Am I first? Oh. Ah, uh, I ran on something! We're going, we're going. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, get wrecked. Get wrecked. I don't know what items are, like, good or not. Nor how to use them. So we're just gonna try to not hit anything. Did I win? Uh, no. That was a lap. Oh, get wrecked, get wrecked, get wrecked. No, I'm here. I'm here. Oh, frick. No, 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 no. Boost. Oh, I, that was a boost. Oh, whatever I did, it activated a boost. Go, 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 go. Turn, turn, turn. Yeah, go, go, go. Go. Go, Beat Fang. You gotta go. Go. Yeah. I got second. I won. Let's hear it for Knuckles. Ooh. Hey, that's not how you spell my name. They spelt it wrong. <laughs> it stands for Mr. Yeah, it could be McDonald's. We'll never know. Everybody's supersonic racing. These caves have a disturbing lack of Hall of the Mountain King. I guess you're right. Let's go, Knuckles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get so wrecked. Hilltop 1, let's go. Let's see if I remember this, because I remember the first one really well. Oh gosh, I kind of do remember this. Oh, there's jumps on this one? Or is those mounds? We should probably test that out now before we get too deep into it. Those look like they're just jumps. CJ Clementine! Uh... Yeah, Sonic Drift 2. I, I finished Life After Magic. It was very cute. I don't know how I'm supposed to use these items. Oh, you press up! I figured it out! Sonic Drift? Epic, yeah! Woo, that one's a boost! Red's a boost! Woo! I used to play this when I was four years old, CJ Clementine. All of these weird Game Gear games. These were my... These were my... These were mine. I gotta thank my parents for, you know, giving me video games. They were like, we don't want to talk to you ever. <laughs> but you can be quiet and play these games. And that's fine, honestly. Honestly, net positive. <laughs> Let's use a boost. Whoa, huge lead. Did you and KJ live happily ever after? Yes, we got engaged. And we're living together and they have a uh, company, an IT company that does hacking. And they get to hang out with their friends in like a basement hacking. That's canon. <laughs> it was very cute. You missed the proposal. <laughs> Thank you. So that was everything I ever wanted. <laughs> yeah, Life After Magic was great. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna stream any more of it, but I'm gonna play more of the Roots on my own. I recommend it. Or you know, if you enjoyed watching it and think you'll like it, you probably will. It's free on Steam. It might be stealing your magic. I'm trouncing this competition. Fang was like so happy to be involved. And now he's like, I don't know why I came here. Dark Valley won. Oh God. I actually do remember this too. We can fall off the edge. You gotta, I gotta be careful here. Don't throw stuff at me. Where'd you even find that? I have not once let go of the B button. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna have to. How come you're throwing so much? How come you have all that stuff? Bang just has extra stuff. Oh, there was a jumpy thing! I was supposed to jump on a... Oh no. 
That was not indicated on the map. Oh. It's an easy game for babies. Yes. It's easy. There is no indication of jumping, so I it would benefit me to stay closer to the middle for the most part. In case we need some more secret jumps. That was mine, Fang. Go! Nice! Easy! Easy baby game! Yeah, get shrekt. Let's go! Yeah, you can try bumping me, but it won't do you any good. Yeah, let's go! Let's go! I think Tails just spun out. Oh, stay on the track. Fang, you fall off, please. 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 Uh, Fang, please. Please. Please, let me be first. Uh, No, let me be first, please. Let me be first, Tails, come here. Let me be first. Uh, boo, bad game. Boo. It's only fun when I win. Boo. Dude, I need new Sonic games to keep Fang canon. I'm just learning about Fang today. Is, I mean, I knew Fang from this game. Sonic Drift 2. I didn't realize he was only a Game Gear, a Game Gear boy. As well as Bean and uh, the polar bear whose name I forgot. Can't believe you forgot Bark. I'm sending a bulldozer to your house? Oh no. More like Bark Dozer. <laughs> Oh, more like, more like, Bark Dozer. That yeah. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe Tails won. They spelled my name wrong again. Yeah, bring back. Who's Bean? What kind of creature is Bean? Casino Knight. Oh, wow. Where are you getting those? Where are they getting... things to throw? Okay, A appears to be my break and or maybe I can drift with that. He's a green bird duck? Uh oh. Stay on the track, Knuckles. I like the music of this game. Go, go, Knuckles. Oh, I think I just. I think I just booted Tails. Woo! Tails just tried to rear end me. Okay, those are slopes, and then there's some bumpers, and like, that thing on the right was a bumper. That's Fang. Why do you have stuff to throw? Is that just a Fang thing? I don't have that. Fang's a cheating! Don't throw stuff at me! I'm literally your best friend! I'm literally telling everyone that you're the best Sonic character. Tails, why were you even- Tails flies?! Wait, what's my power?! I swear, Tails is just flying. Wait, what can Knuckles do? I should read the manual. <laughs> I never read it as a kid, so this is just as good. Ah, oh, second place? Boo! Boo! Knuckles is probably pronounced like muscles? N nussles? Nussles? I'm gonna end stream for that. In my head it's pronounced Nukles. Nukles? <laughs> Knuckles. Nussles. Come on, Conkles, you can do it. Fang the Sniper, aka Knack the Weasel. Bean. Oh, my laundry's done. Oh, Robo Steven, you're gonna do it? Thank you, Robo Steven. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> uh, I 
put spicy poison in my body, and now it's just my body's rejected. Uh, Nussles. All right. Being the dynamite, he's actually a green bird, and Bark the polar bear, Mighty the armadillo, and Ray the flying squirrel, all characters can and please Ega. Sally Acorn, Bunny Rabbot, where is she at? Let's go. They really should do a Sonic uh, Smash. If any game could have a Smash Brothers like knockoff, it should have been Sonic. And they should have brought in all the characters. <laughs> So I won race one and two. I got second for three, and I think I just got third for this one. Oh, I also got second here. So in the overall standings, I should be good. Okay, there's another one. Where's your Rotor the Wal- That's what I'm saying. Where's Rotor the Walrus? Where's the fans at? Rotor! Oh, Amy has hearts. Wait. Okay, now's not the time for me to be trying to test things out. Ooh, I remember this one. Because I'm sure all I played was like this first Grand Prix over and over. But this wasn't my like main. Oh, oh. Can I just boost whenever I want? Oh, I can jump too. Wait, how'd I do that? Oh, maybe the- I gotta read the manual. <laughs> I gotta read the manual. Oh my gosh. Fang is actually so far ahead. So we gotta get some of these boxes here to get some... We gotta get a boost if we hope to do anything. That's a boost. We gotta catch up to Fang. Oh, he's close. There he is! Oh, he threw something down! Come back! I think Amy just passed me too! Ow, oh, frick! I fell off! The side of the road. <laughs> that slab really fell off. Please, I I want to win. Uh, okay, sec. I'll take second. It's got to be a coyote or something. I gotta look all these up in a second. Is this enough? Twelve points. I have twelve emeralds. How many of these are there? I need like a swift like four or five Grand Prix, not like... Not like this. Not like six of them and counting. Listen, Sonic Drift, you're fun, but not that fun. I haven't <laughs> I haven't let go of B once this entire time. Oh, you can jump over people if you have enough rings. Oh, the rings is how we jump. Well, I don't know how people are like using their spe Okay, I'll stop talking about that cuz I can just look it up later and that not it's not going to change. I can't find Ow. Next, we're gonna go right. A sharp right, it looks like. I wanna stay in the inside. Ow, Tails! Oh my god. Neo was right. Screw Tails. He just hit me. For no reason. Why is there a robot on me? <laughs> Okay, we're going left. If I can read maps correctly. Tails, stay behind me. Stay behind me! Oh my god, stay behind me. Stay behind me! Me first, me first, me first, me first, me first, me first! No! <laughs> Amy cheated! 
she cheated. Did you see that? She definitely did something. It wasn't... I didn't lose. I want to say it's a lucky guess, but I'm sure the info was just dominant in my do dormant in my mind for 20 years. He's a coyote. Oh my gosh. Antoine de Coulette. Is that a name? What? My fave Houdat character is Mina Mongoose? Y'all are making things up. <laughs> oh yeah, my favorite is... Ollie Octopus. Yeah! I was gonna say, if there's another race, like, honestly, I'm done. <laughs> I'm finished here. Yeah, first place, baby. Yeah! Oh, thank you! Thank you so much! Wow, thank you! All right, Neo. If Molly's so real, let's see. Let's check out some pictures. Is this your fan art? This is an OC, Neo. That's someone's OC. <laughs> oh, Mina. Not Molly. Oh. <laughs> These are real, actual so Archie comic Sonic characters. Fiona Fox, I see. I actually did read that comic for a while. When I was a child. Okay. Mina. The Mongoose. I actually remember your fan art of this. Of your OC. Oops. Here she is. The in purple and blue in purple and green. It's Mina Mongoose. Mina Mongoose. Can I post the link? Post it, please. I was almost like expecting yours to be in the search. Mina Mongoose. Oh yeah, that's yours. Mina Mongoose. As told by Neo Doodles. There she is. <laughs> yeah, that's cool that your OC really picked up, you know. Everyone was into that. Uh, Neo made a couple of Sonic ones. Let's look at them all. Thanks, Bell. Hey, you're so welcome. I just want, you know, my buddies to succeed, you know? And to have their OCs picked up by everybody. It's pretty rare for a Sonic OC to really get traction like that. Like, Mina Mongoose, right, Steven? It's a favorite character. It should be the rhinoceros. Should be the rhinoceros? Is that real? <laughs> Please, Nia, uh, Stevens. Honest. Uh, thanks, pal. <laughs> you got it, buddy. Every character starts as an OC, you know? Totally. Here's your OC Dark Sonic on the left. Who can come up with something so vile? <laughs> Ruby! Good to see you again. Hello. That is a great stream title. Thank you. It's I put a lot of effort and thought into making it iconic so that everyone would, you know, remember, if not, you know, the stream itself, like, the title. I, it's really about the titles for me. You know, every detail matters. <laughs> How are you? How are your potatoes cooking? Uh, what are other... Um, Sonic OCs y'all were talking about. Fiona Fox. Julesy the Dragon? This is an OC! This is someone's OC. Fiona Fox? Sonic is fake. This is fake. That looks pretty real. No. 
This is someone's OC. There's consistency going on. Yeah, someone's OC that they re really liked. Fiona Fox looks incredible. You gotta look up Vladimir the Horse. No, I'm looking up Dulce the Dragon. The Who's horse? Vladimir the Horse? Neil, this is surely fake. Ooh, it would be cool to do a, like, fake or sonic character. That one says DeviantArt, that's fake. <laughs> They're all on DeviantArt, Steven. No! That's that where OCs one, are born. That last one was real. Oh, is this from... This looks like, uh... A character from the... Dragon Tales, Dragon Tales. Uh, You'll see the dragon... Is a female character from the Sonic the Hedgehog... Saturday, Sat AM cartoon. She's also one of many characters from the longtime Sonic the Hedgehog comic. Have you seen Scourge the Hedgehog? Yeah. My, you mean my OC? You mean my OC Green Sonic that they took without thought about copyright and they just put him in the game? I really like that one second from the left. Second from the left, this yeah. one? <laughs> <laughs> Neo, would you share your Scourge picture? Drawing, I mean. How about Dr. Horatio Quentin Quack? I'm not kidding. What is... <laughs> when I was... When I was a Sonic fan... It was, uh... We got Fang... I mean, I'm always a Sonic fan, but there's a big difference. Tails had it bad for Fiona. Um, so do I. <laughs> I see why. She's, like, very attractive. <laughs> Your potatoes are fried just like my brain. Oh. Dang. I hope you can rest and uh, have some good... Enjoy eating them, I guess. But also mood. <laughs> uh boy. Alrighty. Here's Scourge, as drawn by the one and only Neo Doodles. Yeah. So I have a story to share about um this. But first, let's shout out Neo. Excellent artist. Excellent streamer. Excellent friend. Um, so... As is common knowledge, I guess. The Sonic... Fans, community, ha has a lot of... Well, it's more deviant art, I guess. But specifically, Sonic gets, like, was popular with... I'm like, well, this isn't really specific to Sonic, but Sonic's famous for having original characters that are just recolors of Sonic. Um, and I was sort of teasing about that and was like, this is, I drew my Sonic. I was just like, this is green Sonic. And I drew a Sonic that was green and I sent it to Neo. Then Neo plagiarized me. Anyway, I don't have a succinct story about it. It's just a good bit. But I made Green Sonic, but I didn't know about Scourge. I didn't know Scourge the Hed Hedgehog was real. I had no idea that he existed until Neo drew this one, I think. And I was like, they stole my OC. They put him in the, the comics or the game. I'll never forgive Scourge for encouraging Fiona's evil side. The whole arc was frigged. Only time I felt bad for Tails. Oh my goodness. When my uh when I used to go to the grocery store with my mom, I'd ask her to get me a Sonic comic. <laughs> and that's the Archie ones. I really loved them. I didn't have a ton of them, but like I couldn't tell you a single storyline that I was reading, just that I enjoyed it. Um Dang. That sounds awful. But also interesting. Wally the Walrus? 
Sonic the Hedgehog Walrus. Let me see this walrus. Rotor. Rotor the walrus. Of course. He's cute. Uh, let me get a good... This should be fine. Rotor! Is he a mechanic? He looks mechanical. Rotor the walrus. Oh, that's like a new render. This is like... I'm having trouble navigating the internet. And also I'm like very cautious about just showing search results for Sonic characters. I feel like uh, I'm in danger zone. You can't forget about the iconic Jeffrey St. Oh, I didn't look at um, uh, Dr. Quacker. Quacken's snack. Steven. I don't care. All right, Why Vladimir the horse. <laughs> Vladimir the horse. Here you go. Here's Vladimir the horse. That's him. There he is. Straight out of Sonic. Straight out of Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> that's just a real life horse. Yeah, that's just a horse. Here's Dr. Horatio Quentin. Quack. Oh, from issue 72? Totally. My guy Vlad. Oh, of course. <laughs> you can't forget about the iconic Jeffrey St. John. Okay. Oh, man. Jeffrey Duck. Yes. Okay. Let's check out Jeffrey St. John. Oh... My god, who is this? Oh, what can I say, love? Who's this? Who is Jeffrey St. John? You tell me about this character right now. Who is this little skunky fellow? I love him. This is my new thing. This is my flavor of the week. Uh, maybe I shouldn't say that in regards to characters, but it's currently still Pikmin. He's cute! Well, that's a horrifying picture, but... Jeffrey St. John? Sonic is awesome. Whoa. Okay, you don't want to load. That's kind of rude. I love him. I was obsessed whenever he showed up in the comics, as you should. I love all of this. I love him. It's silly, but it's my silly, but I'll share. I'm gonna draw him later. Probably. Maybe not. I'm tired. I have enough going on. <laughs> but I love him. Look, he's so cute. Have you- now I'm like, have you seen Jeffrey St. John? Neo, have you ever drawn Jeffrey? Why not? Look, he's in a... Here he is in a suit. He hated Sonic. N not everyone. Everyone has their flaws. Him and Hershey the cat were a thing? Who's Hershey the cat? <sighs> were these like all from the comics mostly? Wait, when do we get... See, they should do a, a smash for Sonic because... Um, it just makes sense. There, you could put all of these characters in. Why are they attractive? Archie was a whole bunch, a whole bundle of OCs. Oh my goodness! I'm looking at a Hershey. I'm trying to get. Uh, well, anyway, there's Hershey. Gotta be careful while scroll. Oh, here's Hershey the cat! Aww. Aww! Hershey the cat is looking to play with someone. Hashtag cats of Instagram. Aww. Well, I can see what Jeffrey saw <laughs> in, 
in Hershey. That's sweet. My other fave was Julie Sue the Echidna. Just a really good design. That's literally a Mary Sue. What's going on here? All right, I'm looking up Julie Sue. Oh, it's like, she's cute. Very cute. Julie Sue was sick. I'll stop now though, because I don't have an off switch otherwise. No, I was about to look up some more if you're enjoying <laughs> talking about these. I want the official art. Julie the Echidna official art. Just because everyone kind of drew her hair a little, whoa, different. This is incredible. She's gorgeous. It's no wonder why everyone's a furry. A double, gun. a double barrel gun. That's what Steven likes the best of this. <laughs> Incredible. Alright, well let me go back to the game for... Let me go and like... See what's going on over here. Thanks, it says. And it just shoots you right back to the star. I guess that's normal. Alright, well. Great, that's Sonic Drift. I don't need to... Uh... That's about all I played of Sonic Drift as a kid as well. We were talking about what... Did I want to play Sonic 1? Neo, what do you want to... What do you want to tell me to play? Should I play Sonic 1? <laughs> or should I go and like... Look at- see if I can find a list of all these Archie Sonic characters. It's just- I just want like a good website. It has them all. Then there was that time when Fang killed Mina by shooting her spine. But she lived- and his name was Knack for some reason. Archie Comics was the best. Okay. I want like a comprehensive list. Okay, here's a bunch of them. Now oh, we're doing this now. Let me line this up better. Okay, we have Knuckles. They spelled his name wrong, but that's okay. 35? Wait, is this their age? <laughs> He's not 35. Are you telling me he has a canon age? Knuckles is a treasure hunter. He likes to hunt precious artifacts like Chaos Emeralds. Knuckles is the protector of the master. We already know all this. That's fine. He 35. He's 35? What is this, Neo? Oh my gosh. What is happening here? No! Gotta save her! For him! Mina! See ya! No! I love you, Sonic! No Wait, who did she just kill? They killed Mina?! My favorite Sonic comic artist did this page. What is going on in the Sonic Archie comics? <laughs> noble, sacrifice. noble sacrifice? She's dead! I'm sorry they killed off Mina like that. Is this Fi Fiona? Up here? At the Is that Fiona Fox? Can I tell you I was invested as an 11 year old? I was losing my mind? No, oh, that's Sally. I see. Dang. There's stuff going on. Yeah, I liked it, but I don't. I didn't, I didn't know that was all going on. <laughs> I didn't know what was going on. All I know is Knuckles is 35 years old. 
I want to read. I want to be invested now. We've got Knuckles. Tails is apparently 31. Sonic is 30. Shadow the Hedgehog is 25. I mean, I'm happy to be of similar age. Knuckles is a year older than me. So <laughs> I'm glad Sonic is in his 30s. Shadow, 25. Makes sense. He's got more energy. He's got more F the machine. Sort of. He's got more... Yeah, he's got more punk energy or whatever. We got Amy. Princess Sally? Soul heir to the kingdom of Acorn? Sally is the leader of the resistance movement against Robotnik and carries a sentient mini-computer named Nicole. She has many friends and is well-liked. She's also a love interest of Sh Sonic the Hedgehog? Wait. Tell me about this love triangle. Sonic, uh... Mina loves Sonic. And... What's going on here? Nicole was a computer, but eventually also got a hot furry form too. I see. Wait a minute, Tails has been older than Sonic all along? By a year, yeah. Apparently. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> That's the biggest lore drop. <laughs> Haven't you ever admired someone younger than you? By like a year? <laughs> Have you ever wondered what it would be to like to be a kite? <laughs> I need to share that. I can't just let that one go. Steven, I need your help. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta mute for a second. You ever wonder what it would be to like to be a kite? I'm cleaning up all of my tabs because I want to look at this, uh... I want to look at all these characters, but I have so many tabs open now. Of, like, different Sonic characters. <laughs> and fan art. Jeffrey? That's skunk, though. That's all I'll say on the topic. Archie was so silly, it's so good. Oh, let me see if I can Google, if I can YouTube this real quick. See. This was a Tumblr post, so it's going to be really hard to find if it's not right here. Tumblr's so hard to, like, find anything. Mm. This isn't going to be as good as... This the video I'm thinking of isn't gonna be as funny. I am. I'm looking for looking for videos in my DMs to Steven. <laughs> Cause that's the fastest way to find something is just to go to whoever you remember sending it to you. Instead of trying to search Tumblr. Um Yeah, it's not gonna- here it is. Oh, I said the whole... Alright, get ready for something that's probably gonna be underwhelming. Hey, do you have a- I forgot about... Robo the Hedge? That's fake, Neo! Alright, ready? This is what I just referenced. And I think about too often. Hey, do you ever wonder what it would be like if you could be a kite? I do. I do. <laughs> hey, do you there ever you go. There you have it, folks. Do you ever wonder what it would be to like if you were a kite? I do. <laughs> All right, let's go back to Sonic. That's what I was searching for. You're welcome. Okay, we have Tails, we have Sonic, we have I haven't seen that, but I loved it. Let's go. I'm glad. <laughs> Here's the link to the Tumblr. Do you ever wonder what it would be to like if you could be a kite? Princess Sally. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, so 
Sally... What's Sally's relationship with Sonic? Does Sonic love anyone? Does Sonic love? Can't forget Sonic's Uncle Chuck. I don't believe that ever. Best thing since Stick Stickly. Let's go. Right to me. Six Stickly. P.O. Box 963. New York City. New York State. 10108. Sonic's main love interest is usually Sally. What about Amy? I mean, Amy likes Sonic, right? Sonic doesn't like Amy. Like that. Sonic is Amy's love interest. Sonic is Amy's love interest, yeah, but not the other way around. Amy was honestly barely in the comics. Wow. Rude. We got Rouge. Uh, Dr. Robotnik. Vector. Ah, Vector. I almost asked how does Vector, what does Vector sound like as if that could be responded to in text form in chat. I'm Vector. Gah, gah, gah. Hey guys, I'm a oh, it's like that. Hey, I'm Vector. That's right. I was trying to remember how Neo did it in our uh, murder, the, yeah, the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. That vector voice, I'm still feeling it to this day. Yeah. Ah, that vector, guys! Do you know my friend Silver? Or Silver. I only know Vector because of the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Like I said, like, my, my Sonic era is Game Gear and Genesis. So we go up to Amy and we have Fang. But Vector, like all the characters added in 3D Sonic, I don't know them. Or like I played, I love Adventure 2 Battle, so I know Sonic. I mean, uh, Sonic. I meant Shadow and Rouge the Bat. But all these other ones, Vector, Silver, Metal Sonic was in 2, in uh, Adventure 2 Battle, but... I have all these gaps because I, uh, well, because from, it's actually because I went from Sega Genesis and Game Gear and then joined the Nintendo line, starting with the 64 and Game Boy Color. So I missed all of the ones that weren't, that came before Adventure 2 Battle, and then I never bought another sonic game after that because they're broken oopsie vector and espio were introduced on the sega 3 32x but no one played that so it's fine i haven't played it at all oh okay so they're just weird anyway charmy b is 16 years old oh they're young e123 omega We've got Cream. What's Who's Cream? I know Cream from just being a fa fan favorite, but I couldn't tell you. I don't know where she's from. Sonic Advance 2. Sonic Advance 2? Oh. Neat. Ixix Nogus, 12 years old. An evil magician from Sonic Universe who's a fusion of a bat, rhino, and lobster. He's literally 12. If these are actually, like... Ages? That's the 12 year old. This abomination is 12 years old. I see. Oh my goodness. There we go. Bean! It's Bean! Being the dynamite, a little green bird. Just as described. A bomb throwing bird villain and the enemy of Sonic. Being the dynamite. There's your guy. <laughs> He's a cutie. I feel like I should just stay on Bean for a lot longer because that's that's everyone. That's the fan favorite. That's the Slabino fan fa- Oh, because you're Slabinos. It sounds familiar. That's why y'all like him so much. <laughs> Isn't it? 
Okay, we have Blaze. There's Nicole! I know Blaze too, but I think that's because of Sonic. The the uh, Sonic thing again. <gasps> the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Nicole! Once Princess Sally's handheld computer, Nicole started to develop emotions and desires when she... Data did it already. Star Trek did it already. <laughs> when she and Sally temporarily switched bodies after a lab experiment, she now takes a form of Moby and Lynx via holograms and runs the nanite-built city of ne New Mo Mobotropolis. What? Look at her legs. That's so cool. Sonic... There's some stuff going on. No wonder why. No wonder why. Sonic is this way. Sonic fans are the way they are. Like, with ev no wonder why there's so many OCs and stuff. And like, yeah, this, there's a lot to be passionate about here. Or bot. I'm a Sonic fan as well, but I never. I don't know these ones. I gotta. I gotta pick up the slack i gotta get good you know i gotta get good uh orbot robot lackey to dr eggman and is created to a system but who could forget about snivelly it says 10 but this can't be that's gotta be like appearances or something no and sonic would be more i don't know there's no way he's 10 years old and that man's at least i don't know Metal Sonic. There's Bark! Bark the polar bear! Bark the polar bear! I legit don't know what these numbers are for. Yeah, I don't know. Either. They don't know how to draw polar bears. I want to see more about Bark the polar bear. I don't think I intend to play any more games today. This is just what we're doing. <laughs> But I'll stay in the Sonic category, because it is technically open on the other screen. <laughs> this is... Sonic does polar bears. He's cute. Doesn't look like a polar bear, but is very cute. You ever wonder what it would be to like to be a kite? I oh, am. Yeah. I do. <laughs> Big the cat, of course. The first time I learned about Big the cat, I was, like, very surprised. <laughs> I guess that's the end of that. But now he's Big the cat. Cheese! Cheese's Creams Chow from Sonic X? Oh, yeah! Creams in Sonic X! I dislike Big's clown arms. Leave him alone, Neo. I heard you. <laughs> Leave him alone. Have you not seen Sonic's roboticized Uncle Chuck yet? Oh, if he was in Sonic X, I've seen him before. Um, I really loved the the adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, though. That was my... Oh, you're kidding me. Wait. Sonic Underground? Wow, great. Is this... Is this real? Like, is this a separate character, or is he just playing? You gotta... You gotta see Robo the Hedge as well? Okay. That's not real. None of this is real. You all got scammed. Oh, he's like Robin Hood. Sonic Underground. <laughs> Sonic, how's it go? Sonic Underground. Sonic Underground. Yeah, May 9K loves that theme. 
The only reason I know anything about Sonic Underground is because of May 9K. <laughs> Sonic Underground! <laughs> <laughs> they're kept, they made a vow their mother will be found. They made a vow. <laughs> Sonic Underground. <laughs> That's so good. Oh my god. Sonic Underground. It's just Robin Hood. These are just... I feel like I didn't do enough in my Sonic OC. Like... This... It's just canon. Cubot. We have... There's Rotor. Ray the Flying Squirrel. Oh, I just know that he hates Tails. Tails hates Ray the Flying Squirrel. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. Speedy. Elite Battlebird. He is 16th of Battle Battle Cuckoo and one of the elite of the Battlebird Armada. He despises Tail's ability to fly. Get wrecked. There you go, Neil. This is you. You even have the red a red um Bandana. That's Neo. Some of these are newer Archie, so I have no clue who they are. I see. Well, here's Bunny Raboot. An ally of Sonic with cybernetic body parts. She later marries Antoine. Antoine was real and was roboticized by Dr. Robotnik. Interesting. What's going on with this picture? It's so small. Cute. I don't know Speedy, but I feel him yet. <laughs> Here's Julie Sue. Bad girl turned good. Julie Sue is Knuckles' main squeeze. Her and Rouge are enemies since she flirts with Knuckles. She basically hates anyone who likes Knuckles. Oh, she'd hate me. She'd hate me, but we should be friends. Julie Sue's rad. There's... So many. Oh, but do you know Lara, Lara Sue? Knuckles and Julie Sue's daughter from the future? Excuse me? Spoilers for the Archie comics. Did you know? <laughs> Lara Sue was sick too. Is this a Trunks situation? Spoilers for Dragon Ball Z. What? What is going on in these comics? <laughs> no, I love this. Um, Mighty the Armadillo. We heard about Mighty. What's Chaotix? Is this like an evil team or something? They keep talking about different members. Knuckles Chaotix. What? Fang, there's my guy. Treasure Hunter. Oh. Frick, it just reset the page. No description for Fang, not a single dingle thing. <laughs> not a, just, oh, he's a treasure hunter. Okay. Great. Thanks. <laughs> a treasure hunting weasel. He's also very good at driving. Jet the Hawk. I've seen Jet the Hawk. Did you draw him, Neo? Anthropo pro anthropomorphic hawk who has a rivalry with Sonic. Jet's original name was intended to be Win. Yeah, I remember him. Fang is broken in Sonic the Fighters. <gasps> they did do a fighting game, didn't they? Sonic likes green birds, I guess. I guess so. <sighs> Carter, I've been saying that they should do a knockoff Smash Bros, but for Sonic. Because there's so many characters. But I forgot about Sonic the Fighters. They already have a fighting game. Wave the Swallow. She's cool.
Her, Tails, Amy, Blaze are rivals and sort of Sonic too. Okay. Storm the Albatross. He's busted, but being even more so, you can mash the basic jab and nobody could do a thing, dang thing about it. I see. Great game, though. All right. Eclipse the Darkling. He's a super soldier in the Black Arms alien species and was created by the Black Arms to essentially be their answer to Shadow the Hedgehog. What? This is like stumbling upon Kingdom Hearts lore. I had no idea. Like, it's so funny that to be a Sonic fan of the earlier, like, like I said, my main Sonic is the Game Gear stuff and like the Sonic, the Adventures of Sonic cartoon. All of this is just like, yeah, I'm a fan of Sonic, but I don't know any of this. It's, but we're all, like, we're all still Sonic fans. It's just, like, different eras can have different... I don't know. It's wild. There's also Shade the Echidna from the Sonic RPG on the DS. The, <laughs> the Sonic RPG. That is the best soundtrack of any Sonic game. <laughs> it is the best soundtrack of any Sonic game. So that's what they say. Eclipse kind of reminded me of that. Oh, okay. Interesting. Wait, okay. Antoine de Coulette. Oh yeah, y'all were talking about him. This is an this is an interesting picture, but let me Freedom Fighters. Let's get some let's do a search for this. Antoine de Coulette. I love Sonic. Oh my god. I love that I can't tell what's official art and what's fan art. He's got his, like, knight's armor, knight's, or, uh, he looks like a royalty or something. This is so fake. This is not real. <laughs> they let the O season. Fiona Fox, let's go. Let's go, Fiona Fox. Leader of Gun, the commander, leader of Gun, G U N. Guys, um, under, guys, guys, universally. Guys, uh, uh, guys, Chiyue. <laughs> guys, give us another three. Give us another three. Thanks, even for the save. Guys, unite knuckles. <laughs> okay, Mega Man. What is Mega Man doing in a Sonic list? Rock? It once a simple robot made by the world renowned Dr. Light <laughs> was modified to become Rock Man, what Mega Man website? outside of Japan, and fight against the evil robot sent by Dr. Wily? Guys, um, no. This is a list of Sonic. of Sonic. Uh, Archie comic characters. You know what? It's GameSpot. No, it's not. Why is Mega Man there? I don't know. I just... The internet's bad, okay? I just Googled things. Awesome. Battle Cuckoo XV is the leader of Battlebird Armada. It's a picture of Tails and you know it. Elias, he's a bored... Monkey Con? That looks a little... That looks a little... I'll say... I don't know. That looks a little sensitive. The cyborg monkey that is based on Song Goku from the story Journey to the West. Yeah, that's Goku. Mega Man had a huge arc, I think. Proto Man's here! 
Sergeant Simeon, Predator Hawk, Marine. Okay, Marine's a Sonic character. Conquering Storm, Dr. Wily, T-Pup, Mordred Hood, Relic the Pika, Scourge, Finitivus. That's a, that's a, this is a Sora Shadow. That's a... Oh my god. That's Kingdom Hearts. Mega Man had a giant... I mean, this is accurate so far. Mega Man had a huge arc, I think. What are you talking about? This is so fake. I love Finna... Finna... Finnevis? So, so, so cool? I can just... Okay, ne negative chaos energy? Fin... Finite... Fi Finitivus. Finitivus. Finitivus? Duck platypus. Flying frog. Listen, this goes on for another nine pages. <laughs> another seven pages. <laughs> yeah, it's just the Sonic Universe comics. I guess there's crossover. The Black Death is here. Rush, the dog from Mega Man. Sky Prower. Tails and Mina's son from 30 years into the future? Spoilers is Shine has let yet to learn to properly fly like his father. Tails got with Mina? There's no way. Mina could do better. And I like Tails. But Mina? A super fast mongoose whose speed rivals Sonic. She is intended as love interest who can relate more to Sonic because of her speed. She likes Sonic! Tails gets with Mina? No. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't even know. And that. Tails strikes again. I guess Sonic was busy that day. <laughs> they don't even relate to, like. Like. I could s I assume she's like intelligent levels of tail like into into like computering. Who's the one who made Nicole? That that they can be to I guess it okay, I'm listening. CJ Clementine. I'm listening. If there's something coming out after that. The only thing I can think of is uh, if Tails is obsessed with Sonic and so is Mina, then they can relate to that. I always saw Tails as a sort of underdog. He definitely is. So that puts this comic into a little bit of a different perspective. I like Tails. I'm just saying. I don't know. Neo's rubbed off on me. No, I gotta save her for him. But Mina, yeah, see, Mina's like, loves Sonic in this, right? I gotta save her for him, and he protects Sally for Sonic, and says, I love you, Sonic. I wanted the, oh, you wanted the girls to like him. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm trashing on Sonic. I'm just, like, for Mina, though, Sonic, there's someone out there for Tails, and it's just, Mina, I isn't a Sonic. When I read the comics, I don't remember her and Tails interacting. And he was being a little simpy, I think. I wanted the girls to like Tails. No, I understand. I th the, or like... You wanted Mina and everyone. You wanted the girls in, in the comic to like Tails? Or you wanted like real life human girls to like Tails? Is that Fig Leaf and Cool Jr? Yeah, 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 yeah! It's cool, yeah. Oh my god, he's so cool. Oh my god, he's so cool. Welcome in, Fig Leaf and Pals. I saw you looking at Sonic Underground comics. Yeah, we're looking at all. Um. Yeah, I was playing Sonic Origins. And then we were talking about 
Fang, who's like only in Sonic Drift. And that led to both CJ Clementine and Neo telling me about different characters in uh, the Sonic Archie comics. There's so many. There's so... There's so many. <laughs> They're all OCs. You've been lurking. Thanks for lurking. I was just like, oh man, Tails is so good. Give him some. There is someone out there for Tails. Uh, just maybe not Mina, who's like head over heels for Sonic. Mina, who doesn't even like Tails like that. Like anyone else. I don't know. I don't even go here. I never even read those comics. And you, Big Leaf, what's going on? Are you playing Pokemon? Pokemon Anil? What is that? Tell me that, please. <sighs> yeah, Mina's. Mina's the favorite. My favorite. I've decided. I like Tails. I, I think just Neo's rubbed off of me. <laughs> Pokemon Anil is a Kanto remake with all nine gens of Pokemon. I see. It's a time so far. But apparently they had a child together in the future. I'm obsessed with this because Mina is a rock star. Mina's incredible. Congratulations to Tails. And to you, Carter. Sorry, Val. I didn't mean to. It's... It happens. And it happens. <laughs> Interesting. Well, congratulations to Tails. He is a nice guy. And not like a capital N, capital G, nice guy, TM. He's just a nice fellow. Just a, just a lovely little old fox. So Figly, I'll have to check out your VOD actually and like when you go into like some grass is there like 10 different species in each patch? Lita, we got Lyco, Uncle Chuck. Oh, I'm Uncle Uncle Chuck is like You know what? I think Uncle Chuck is on those vegetarian chili dogs. I think that's what he's doing and he's just like Taking it slow. I'm Uncle Chuck. I, I like ve vegetarian chili dogs and taking it easy. Taking it slow. You know, I've lived my fast days. I want to see something as a, a different uh, speed. Sonic's uncle who invented the roboticizer. He worked as a spy for the Freedom Fighters in the heart of Robotnik's base. He now has a seat in the Acorn Council in New Robotropolis. I understand all of those words. I'm a little... Zonic! <laughs> Zonic is a zone cop? He, per he per his purpose is to monitor and maintain balance between all zones of reality. He operates from no zone, a zone that runs perpendicular to all others, intersecting with each. As a result, Zonic is always oriented 90 degrees counterclockwise from everything else. Wow. Okay. Zero. <laughs> X. <laughs> Sigma. When did they do a... <laughs> they definitely did a crossover. My guy, Jeffrey St. John. A cab, in a cab includes Zonic. A cab in especially includes Zonic. You mean I can't go to different planes of reality? Whatever. Jeffrey St. John is my guy. I mean, uh, I think I still have the tab open. Bam. Bam. That's my guy! <laughs> Tell Steven, I'm sorry I've been ignoring Smash Brothers. Sonic comics are impossible for me to ignore. <laughs> it's my turn with CJ Clementine. 
<laughs> gotcha. Kill. Don't kill. Don't kill. Son of Ian St. John, who served the kingdom before him, Jeffrey is a by-the-book agent of King Acorn. He despises Sonic. Manic, the future son of Sonic and Princess Sally from various alternative timelines. Is this Sonic Underground? It's Sonic Universe. It's like all of them. Sonia, the future daughter of Sonic and Princess Sally from various alternate timelines. They they're having kids. Jack Rabbit. That's just a rabbit. Those are just rabbits. All right, one more page. Jolt, shift, Tex, Avery, Major Snively, Jeffrey Saint Croix, Larry Lynx, Black Oak, Beauregard Rabot. The Grand Master of the Great Desert Chapter of the Dark Egg Legion and the uncle of Bunny Rabot de Coulette. Wow, I understood about 60% of those words. Tundra the Walrus. Clove. Rigenta. Sizer. Kregel. <laughs> Blurk! <laughs> Steven, did you name these? <laughs> Love it. Let's read those again. Clove, Rigenta, Sizer, Kregel, and Blurk. <laughs> Blurk. Oh my god. Dr. Elodie, Professor Von Schlemmer, Abyss the Squid, Nephthys the Vulture, Battle Cuckoo uh, 15, Wendy Nagus, Woodman, <laughs> Robot Master from Mega Man 2, <laughs> hashtag exclamation point blurk. Why is he on that list? What? Why is Woodman on that list? He's here. Chill Penguin, Blizzard Buffalo, Gravity Man. <laughs> Grounder! There's my guy, Grounder! <sighs> Mammoth Mogul. Tickle. Tickle? The daughter of the chief of the Knuckles tribe. She strives... Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. She strives for peace from her warrior tribe when they plan to take the Chaos Emeralds from the Chaos Garden and invoke the Wrath of Chaos. She sealed herself in chaos and is now a spirit that guides Sonic and friends. Wow. Eggman Mega. Vanilla the Rabbit. Okay, and then it goes on for another five pages, but we get the idea. <laughs> we get the idea. Want to see me beat Eggman? Let's go. <laughs> I've never done this before, so I'm mostly kidding, but let's see if I can beat Dr. Eggman and, uh, Dr. Eggman, Dr. Robotnik, and Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. And then I'll, uh, call it a stream. Uh, load. Puzzle mode! Yeah. This, that's why this is the best game. Oh god, I should have done a warm up. I should have done a warm up. He's fast. There, we got a combo going. At this speed, you can't even, like, move anything. You just gotta hope you land on the right thing. And I've forgotten which, like, way... I haven't... When I was a kid, I, um... Only turned the thing one way. And... I don't know which way to turn to have it go, like... 
to have the top be one way, you know? Uh, and you kind of need that. I'm putting this over here. Uh, oh, goodness. Uh, that's the wrong way. That's the wrong way. Frick! I don't think we're gonna beat Dr. Robotnik today. <laughs> also, my screen has like a color dimmer. It has a red screen thing so I don't hurt myself <laughs> with uh, my vision. Uh, or it's like a daytime. It's... Ah, frick. I'm dead. So all the reds and... Um, it's called... It's Flux. And it adds a red light on things to make the screen less harsh. Um, but it also made that look the same. Wait, no, no, hold on. Let's go. Let's do puzzle mode. <laughs> I need some training. <laughs> I need some training. Oh, X is start. I forgot. What about Sonic 1 Game Gear, though? I th You just said puzzle mode. Neo Doodles. Eliminate all red beans. Watch this. Bam. Great. I'm doing my lessons now, Neo. Eliminate ten beans at a time. Just give me a red piece. Watch this. Ah, oh, yeah! Let's go! Easy, next. Next one. Next lesson. <laughs> Eliminate all the red beans. Okay. Easy. Next lesson. But obviously it gets harder, but then they teach you, like... Through this, it helps you to understand combos and stuff. Okay, Sonic 1 for Neo Doodles. Sonic game. Sega! Say it! Hear that? Nice and crunchy. That's the Game Gear, baby. This will be interesting since I recently beat this. You're so welcome, Neo Doodles. I only have three lives, though. It's not infinite, like. I just love Bridge Zone. Which zone is Bridge Zone? How far do I have to go for Bridge Zone? This game is completely different. Oh, completely different. Yeah, though now I can, like, see what the differences are after playing. I'm so scared to move because of, like, let's just go. <gasps> That's right, I can't do the thing. Zone two? Okay, I can get there. We can't do the charge. Oh, I'm scared of nothing. Woo! Oh, I'm scared of spikes. That was kind of rude they put spikes just there after I was gliding. Oh, stay. Last. Oh, it didn't last. It didn't last. I, I think that thing made me, um... It was an arrow down, and it, like... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no! Come on! Oh, come on. I... My bad. This, I think, just makes me bypass... No, it does not. The spikes. <laughs> <laughs> Do I go down? Can I break stuff? Alright, we have one life left. Hup! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, okay, 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 okay. No! None of this happened. This was just... This was just, um... That was just... I was just messing around. Look at him dance. 
Look at his widow Sonic sprite though. He's perfect. Look at him. Let's see him again. Okay, here's Sonic for the first time. Sonic for the first time. Look. Uh, 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 Woo! Yeah, this is like... Truly, I just want to run. But there's dangers, so I have to like... I have to relax. I'm so scared. Oh, but now we can do whatever we want. <laughs> da -na, da -na, da -na, Sonic the Hedgehog. All right, we're further than we've ever been. Oh, no, 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 no. I was just going to say I'm out of coins. I'm out of the... Not out of coins. I'm out of the invincibility. First time. Okay. Oh. And then it just... It just gets rid of all the coins I've collected as one coin. Which is a little rude. Ew. That's Eggman. First time. I think I lost. <laughs> that should have been Sonic. It went eh, eh. All right. I want to see those bridges. Why are you going eh, eh on me? This is not a protective. I'm scared to go this way. I know I have a shield, but... About to run out. I want to run into him so bad. How do I do this? What do I do in this scenario? Uh. <laughs> that, I guess, just use a ring. Can I have a ring, please? Can I have a ring, please? Can I have a ring, please? Just one. Can I have a ring? Oh, frick. I should have just jumped over. Is this a mango? Yeah, sure. I don't know how to make that sign into anything other than Eggman. Yeah, you can- we can mango. Backseating's good. Do I just Do I just lose a ring? You can tell me. Yeah, I I don't care. I'm not very serious about Sonic 1 on the Game Gear, Neo. <laughs> I'm sorry. Run forward and hit down to roll at it. I was doing that all the time on the cliff, Neo. <laughs> it didn't work, Neo. <laughs> it didn't work. Oh my god, can you like do it for me? <laughs> You're so good at video games, wow. That's so cool. <laughs> the water pranked you. I see. Uh, cool, thank you. Yeah, I wasn't thinking about that as like... Since I can't do it the way I want. <laughs> God. Uh. Oh my god, it's you know Sally! Uh. Okay, I'm stop. I'm sorry, I'm done. I'm done. Uh, one of the characters in Life After Magic I gave that voice to. And that's like, it's so fun to do. I don't know what that- Did it just give me more gravity? I don't understand. What that arrow does. Is this going backwards? Okay. This is confusing. Another thing that I was confused about as a child playing Sonic is that it's not like left to right. It's not like... Huh? Oh, frick. I get the feeling I wasn't supposed to come down here. Again, I was already here. 
It's not like s Mario where it's left to right. It's like a maze. That's the checkpoints, I think. Oh, it is. Because you saw that I... Did you see? I died earlier. And it brought me back to there. Oh. Leave, please. Thank you. I wonder if I get anything for having a million coins. Probably. These are at my forehead height. <laughs> Can I look down? Wow. It's safe to go. Woo! Give me Sonic! Oh, an exclamation point! Wow! I got 57 coins. <laughs> I don't know that I'm gonna get it to bridge down. To bridge zone. Oh! What is this? Oh, a bonus! Aww! This is pretty! Am I a gamer? Oh, hello. Is this Pong? Oh, I'm done. I should have spent more time. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know what it was. <laughs> gamer mode. <laughs> I lost the emerald. I had a whole minute left to, to hang out in there. Uh, boss time. Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> I still have my shield. Oh. Hup. Uh. Hup. He jumps big. I forgot. Forgot Sonic is fast. He can do whatever he wants. Oh, I'm so scared. Okay, ready? Uh, uh, uh. Come here. Should I hit him from the bottom? Yeah, okay. What? What's your deal, Eggman? Is that it? That's how you attack? Hello? I mean, watch me find a way to still lose, but... <laughs> This way? Eh. Eh. Eh! Yeah! Oh wait, what? The frame rate of the stream and the flicker of the shield are making Sonic invisible on stream? It's very funny. Oh wow. Oh look, there he is! Oh. Now you can't see the shield. Oh, it flickered the other way. Oh, that's hilarious, Neo. Thanks for pointing that out. I'm watching, obviously, in a capture to to save me from that, like, millisecond of of a delay. <laughs> Invisisonic. Bridge zone! Let's go! Neo's favorite. Aw. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, buddy. Yeah, this music's great. Makes you happy. I can't remember if I've been here before. Because Sonic Chaos was definitely the Sonic game I played the most on Game Gear. I think I had this one, but it wasn't like a fave. But I think I was probably here at least one time. Oh, woo! Okay, good. Exclusive zone to this game, I think. Oh, game over? No, again. No! No, I want to go back to bridge zone! Bring me back to bridge zone! Let's go back again, again. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog. It's Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh. 
Other save states? I mean... Yeah. You get one save. You get one save and you can load there. I'll, I'll do it at the start of bridge zone just because I want to see bridge zone. Or maybe I'll do some up until bridge zone because I like uh, to not keep my lives. Oh god, oh god, no! Okay. My rings! Who was up there shooting at me? Relax! I'm gonna be gone before you know it, don't worry. Da -dun -da -dun -dun. And good. I think you need to have, um,. Like, a certain amount of, I think, 50 rings, and then you can enter the special stage at the end. I think that's what that is. Alright, Sonic. Mango! Speed run. Gamer! Gamer! Oh god. I'm stuck. Oh, I'm stuck in the water. Frick. You know what? I don't need you. <laughs> I don't need to mess with you. It really... The water super slows you down. Oh, no, 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 no. Oof. Thank goodness for jumping. And go. Okay, checkpoint. That makes super sense. Leave me alone, please. Thank you. Thank you, weird bug. Wow, Green Hill Zone. They should put this in all their games. Oh, why'd I do that? Okay. <gasps> I just like to jump. What game can I just jump? Ah, frick you, dude. Is this a different area? No, I just didn't collect the rings, which works for me, because I just need one to survive. <laughs> I'll save those for later. You know what? Let's save here. <laughs> Let's save state right there. <laughs> because I'm getting a, getting a feeling. I'm getting a feeling about this. If they brought back Green Hills, that would be so retro and cool. That's what I'm saying. Right? So funny. So funny and cool. I like... In the Sonic universe, I'm gonna be the person that's like... They put on these exclamation point uh, signs to warn us about something, but then they don't say what they're warning us about. It's really... It's really not effective signage. I'm always aware. What should I be aware of specifically? Alrighty. Okay. I'm gonna save it every moment just because I want to be in hills and bridge zone. Oh yeah. It's time for this. This is the hardest boss battle in any Sonic game. This is so hard. Top, top, top. Uh, 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 uh. Oh goodness, that was so hard. I don't know how I did that first first try. Bring me to the bridge. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. With all my lives. <sighs> Bridge zone! I think that was just some guy driving and Sonic is actually a menace? What are you talking about? Oh, like, wait, what are you talking about? What do you, what do you mean? 
I don't understand what you're talking about. Who's driving the car? Eh, uh, my menace. My name's Sonic. Eh. Uh. <laughs> uh. Hup. Hup. I'll sell you a magic app for a hundred dollars. <laughs> okay. If you raise this right. You'll, you'll have a delight. Oh, this bridge is breaking. Somebody better fix that. Hup. There's physics in this game. Hup. Checkpoint. Be -de 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 -de. Wait, that ring. Oh no! Oh, frick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Sonic. After I had all those rings, too. Oh, I made the same mistake! Classic slab. Let's do it for a third time. The bridge can't break because if there does, there's no zone? Maybe they should have thought about that before they named it, huh, Neo? <laughs> Dang. And where's my sign here? Is this not dangerous? Can you leave? Thank you. Can you leave you bothering me? I hate this. <laughs> no, I don't hate it. But, like... Yeah, how? I just want to win the first time I try it, you know? And for that reason, I don't like it. But as an adult gamer, I can try. Sorry, Magikarp. Oh, that just like... Slowed down. And... Hup! Easy. Easy baby game. For who? Babies! <laughs> First try. <laughs> Gimme, 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 gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme moving pedestal. Moving, uh... Hi, Coopsia. Yeah, I'm doing a... I'm on hour four and a half. Forever long stream. How are you doing? Oh, I made the same mistake again. That was the third time I made that exact mistake. Four point five out of a thousand. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I need to get a second coffee. I don't know that I'm gonna last. See, that's what I say. Like every streamer has done 12, not every, but the streamers, they say do 12 hour streams, and then you gotta do um, oh my gosh, it's dangerous over here. That is an evil spring. Um, yeah, 24 hour streams? Nah. I'm about those thousand hour streams. I'm a trendsetter. I'm setting the trends. 10 o'clock is the hour, huh? That's when everyone comes in. Hi, Desire. How are your potatoes cooking? How are both of your potatoes cooking? Yeah, I'm playing the Game Gear Sonic. This is Sonic 1 on the game. The Sonic's pissed at me. He's like, 
tapping his toe. Like, are you ready yet? Can we hurry up and go? I can hear your commitment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hour 4.5 out of a thousand. Like, comment, subscribe. You sound ready for 995 more hours. How many days is that? 900, a thousand. Are you doing math for me? No, you're just doing something else. Uh, I gotta do a math real quick. 1,000 hours to. Savior! Aww. Yeah. It's cool, yeah. Hi, Avier. Wow. Uh, thanks for bringing Cool Junior. <laughs> cool Junior's the coolest of bears. So it's no wonder why Cool Junior was hanging out with you. Hello, Avier. Hello, Cat Rob. Let's go. Support class, Avier. Hi, Ika. Let's go. Welcome in! What's going on? I'm just playing Sonic. I'm just playing some Sonic games that I like. Um... You know, that I used to play as a kid and they brought him to his Sonic Origins. Hi, I'm Slab! I use they, them pronouns and gender neutral language. Uh, we're... This is truly the greatest stream title ever? Okay, there we go. Iconic. That's the feedback I've been getting. It's a great stream title. I like Fire Emblem. I like games with grids. I stream usually on Sundays, but we got a little... We got a little funny... We got a little funny... Funny funny today on Friday. Silly funny goofy. I stream whatever I want. But anyway, welcome in. If you're... Oh, you're playing... Hold on, I gotta do Roman numerals. That's 16. Okay. <laughs> I gotta do some math. You do like games with grids, huh? Very much so. Table Turf Battle in Splatoon. Fire Emblem. Devil Survivor. Uh, Shin Megami Tensei Devil Survivor. Um, Final Fantasy Tactics Advance, specifically. Advance Wars? If anyone who just came in with Avier is good at Advance Wars... Avier, have you played Advance Wars? Avier's stellar at, um... Fire Emblem, but if you played Advance Wars... Advance Wars beat me. There's only a few games that I, like, gave up because I was like, this game won. This game beat me. <laughs> Days of Ruin is my favorite Advance Wars? Hell yeah, I bet you're awesome at it. I've only played Dual Strike. Um, the One of the DS ones. I don't even know how many there are. I love those games too. Well, I guess I just respect them more than I love them because I don't know much about any of them. But Advance Wars Dual Strike, I got stuck. And I got so stuck, I was like, I don't even know what to do anymore. It beat me. It was awesome. I'm like so joyful that they beat me. Days of Ruin. Uh, let me look that one up. Fans Wars, I love Dual Strike. Let's go. I love Dual Strike too. I couldn't get anywhere with it. <laughs> okay, Advance Wars Days of Ruin is also on the DS. They're awesome. I would have bought the Switch remake if that game was included. I'm like, <laughs> wasn't included? Oh, this was right after... This was right after Dual Strike. It's the fourth installment in the Advance Wars series after Advance Wars Dual Strike. Am I just gonna learn about Advance Wars right now? And how many games are in the series? Oh, it's just one and two in the remake? Interesting. I feel like they could have, like, done more. Done, like, a Sonic Origins and, uh, just threw everything in there. But how was Final Fantasy f eight, uh, 16? Yeah, Advance Wars Rabbit Hole? Okay, has anyone also? We got into a huge rabbit hole with the Sonic, uh, Archie comics characters. Because there's, like, there's, like... 50 of them, and they all feel like OCs. 
Which they are, like every character is an OC until it's not, right? And um, this guy, this guy, no wonder why we're all furries in like this day and age. This is Jeffrey. What's his name? Jeffrey, I love him. Jeffrey, Jeffrey St. John, Jeffrey St. John. Look at him. <laughs> it was fun, good. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's the end of our Final Fantasy 16 talk. Anyway, let's talk about Advance Wars. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't intend to play 16. Uh, just because I don't think I'd enjoy it, but I don't have much. But I'm glad you had fun. I'll have to check it out, though. I'm interested in seeing what it's like. My favorite Final Fantasy is Advanced Tactics. That's why we're all furries? It's definitely one of the reasons. Also, Space Jam. <laughs> uh, Lola Bunny. And, and the Lion King. <laughs> but this- but Sonic is not helping. Uh, yeah, here I even have it still open. Let's just do this again. <laughs> we were going through this list of like Sonic care. Obviously, we know like these are the main characters up top. This is what we were looking at Knuckles, Tails, Sonic, Shadow, Amy, Sally, uh, Ru Ru Rouge. Then we get into where's my mouse? Uh, these are all video game ones. Bean the dynamite is a little green bird. Robin Hood though, yeah, Robin Hood was in here. Uh, Sonic the, we have Bork, Bark the polar bear looks fake, but he's canon. Uh, oh hey, watch this. You're here now, so this is what it's like in the slab channel. Hold on, you gotta watch this video with me. Hey, do you ever wonder what it would be like if you could be a kite? I do. <laughs> All right, hey, welcome in. Do you ever wonder what it would be like if you could be a kite? I do. Sonic the Fighters? Tumblr, yeah. This Muppet is why I'm a furry. Uh, okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Sega does what Nintendo. You got it. Uh, but thank you, Avier, again for the raid and welcome in, folks. <laughs> oh, and we didn't. I didn't even shout out Avier. I didn't even shout out Avier. The Muppets have fur. Okay. <laughs> you know, I don't mean to. I don't mean to lean into shaming or whatever. You did shout out Avier. Well, there it is again. Avier's great. Very uh, skilled at Fire Emblems. And all games. <laughs> and all JRPGs, but specifically. You're great. You're great too. Avier gets to you, for sure. For sure, Avier gets to you. Bark the polar bear, cheese. I'm like, hold on, hold on, there's some good ones. Julie Sue. Okay, hold on. We're in an but that was just an example because we're in our advanced wars. We're in the advanced wars rabbit hole. I wanna know how many game and like we were playing Sonic, but I'm f I love tangents, so we're not doing that anymore. <laughs> I'm going to go back in a second, but I want to know how many Advance Wars games there actually were. Um, so Advance Wars, and then the second one. Who's your favorite Advance Wars character? I would. I don't even know. I need everyone else to ask. We also got into a tangent about thread and social media for creators. What did you talk about? I am very negative about Thread. <laughs> Does that fit into what you were talking about at all? Can anyone relate? <laughs> we don't have to talk about it here. Yeah, I mean... 
I don't care, really. I don't care that people are on threads. It's just like, why does it have to be Facebook? I mean, I guess I do kind of care that it's on thread. Okay, I do care that people are on threads. But I don't care that people are on threads. Like, it's not even... I'm not on threads, obviously. Everyone wants me to join. Yeah. Okay, we're talking about threads. Okay, Xavier, you did it. You did it. We're not on Advanced Wars anymore. We're on Threads. <laughs> um, yeah, now I got, I got my soapbox here. I got a soapbox. I might as well stand on it. It's sta my soapbox is right next to me. Advanced Wars is better, though. It is. You can't even use Threads in certain countries like those in Europe. Yeah, because it takes all your data. Uh. <laughs> yeah, Avier, you opened the rabbit hole. Like, um... Like, everything takes some of your data, but, like, Instagram takes... Like, Facebook I stopped using because, like, um... Well, really because the last thing that I was interested in about it stopped being a thing that I needed to use the website for. Um, I'm pulling up the, the permissions. I did not know that. I didn't willingly learn a single thing about threads. Kind of me too. I just had uh, uh, one of my best friends was like ranting to me about everything and then um, God threads! I'm like, my guy! He sent me a text and was like, I'm about to sign up for threads. Like, I know, but like, just in case you see a notification. I love you, buddy. <laughs> he doesn't usually come to streams. Um, but a lot of things I learned was also being presented information. And I was like, this information sucks. I hate what I'm learning. I was neither endorsing nor rejecting threads, but I was transparent with people's grievances. I have a thread account on a brand new email. Yeah, like, I don't care that you or my other friend signed up for threads is what I was saying. Like, it's not like, uh, but at the same time, I'm annoyed by like the general public not caring about it. I'm annoyed that Facebook will always have power because we won't get off of it or like but I don't know if that makes sense like it's not I'm not angry or like upset or anything at individuals doing anything it just speaks to a wider thing for me about something I don't like about uh things I hope that makes sense I don't know I guess I'm working through some stuff too, but, uh, yeah, so this is what I saw. This is all very fair. Yeah. I mean, I trust Collapsia to be on the same wavelength as me on that. Also, I used a fresh account, right? Because you can't even delete your thread account without deleting your connected Instagram accounts. But I mean, we're streamers or like we're in the streaming community for streamers. I understand, like, like, obviously we all want to, like, in general, you want to get on, get early on, on the things that are eventually going to make, are going to be the mainstays, or even not, like, everyone's a bunch, we're all signing up for, like, a million of accounts just to, like, is hedging our bets a thing, the right word here? I agree with you, Colopsia. Like, uh, <laughs> like it was upsetting to see a lot of people go on to it because for some reason I thought that people weren't going to jump onto threads because it's a Facebook property and when people did not individuals but just like when a well when I guess individuals but people I respect oh, listen Avier I don't care that you're on threads <laughs> I'm trying to like, I'm, try I'm saying like two separate things, I think, but 
are two contradicting things. Like, I'm upset that so many people are on threads, but also, like, it's more... Yeah, it's less about the individual and more, like, dang, I thought we were gonna stick together and not go on threads. But then immediately everyone was like, oh, I'm on threads, like, for crying out loud. No one's here. No one's with me. It's me and Collapsia against the world. It's just I think Facebook is like specifically evil. And like <laughs> and I don't want that to be a monopoly or like for stuff to be so tied to Facebook. You can't like sign up for Facebook without putting your government ID on there. For example, the last time I tried to like create a side account you just can't do that anymore and i don't like the way that that's where the internet's heading or you have to have your identity attached to things because i value so much that an anonymity that anonymous like i love tumblr like i love these spaces that still exist that you don't have to say who like give any real world information because that's i mean i'm a millennial i grew up with the internet being fresh and like anonymous and I like that and I think that was having spaces where I it wasn't tied to my government name and like my offline life is like was so important for me um exploring my life and not in any like specific way just like growing up <laughs> as a child on the internet uh I don't want yeah we don't need to attach that to like my government ID. And so like that's what Threads is to me is an extension of that from Facebook. So Threads in particular, I'm like, "Oh, freaking Threads, dude. Can we not?" But, you know, it'll be what it is. It'll be whatever it is and um yeah, I, you know. <laughs> You can't blame people for being on there, but oh, I wish it failed. I think it still might. Well, it might not because you've got like all the people who don't care and like everyone on Facebook, all like the pair, everyone's families are just like, oh, new thing. We're on there. And like, I don't go off highness. <laughs> and like, even if it's boring, I think those people will still be on it because everyone else on Twitter there were so many memes of people going to threads and then memes of them like coming back to Twitter because it was boring and like unfinished on threads. But I think a lot of people don't care <laughs> if it's finished or not. They're just like, woo. So I don't know. It might not fail, but it's, it might, it might be successful. It might not be. I don't know, but I'm not planning to be on there. I'm planning to do everything I can to not be on there, but I don't care if people are. I mean, I like like I said, I care that people are, but I don't care if individuals are because it's just like a cultural shift that I'm not about. Anyway, whatever Avier said. <laughs> this is also why I'm like, this is an 18 plus stream. Not because I'm going to do anything explicit, just because like... These are my thoughts and like, I don't want to influence people too much. I'm just saying stuff that I believe and it might change and it might not, but I don't know. Okay, I kind of ignored some. Thank you for the disclaimer, lol. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, you can't blame people. Um, You love Tumblr, I love Tumblr. Tumblr social media king. I don't use it anymore, but that like really was so much more of a safe space than any other social media. Uh, oh, Tumblr? Yeah. I have my very old account. I have a slab account, I think, but I don't use it because it's so hard to like get on back onto websites after you have like your following. Well, the people you're following is like tailored already. I don't want to rebuild. I feel like expect Twitter to pull some magic. Honestly, me too. I hope so anyway. Tumblr went down like four times and is still kicking. And Twitter is way bigger than they are slash were. I hope so. That's what I come here for. Nice. There's plenty of it. Yeah, I think like... 
I don't know. I hope. I guess it's more of a hope. I hope Twitter will, like... Mm, Musk will, like... Figure out a way to get himself removed and then they, like, rebuild it again. But... I don't really think there's a replacement. There's obviously gonna be so many other places to go, but... Of these new ones, but... Um... Like, there's no replacement. And unfortunately, Threads is like... If you're gonna replace Twitter, it I think it would have to come from, like... An Instagram, or like... It would have to come from Threads, or... Another big company like that. Because they already have the infrastructure. But then again, like, th Threads is not finished, it's broken. <laughs> But the thing about Threads is that it has the Facebook and the Instagram backing so that, like, it will have more buy-in from, like, people who don't care about <laughs> who aren't intense, like, <laughs> or who aren't uh, streamers or, I don't know, investors, too. True, investors, too. The ideal situation is he sells it as at a loss. I hope so. As far as I'm concerned, anything can happen. I don't know. Like, it can go bad, it can go better, but I'm just kind of waiting and seeing. I'm going to be on Twitter until it, like, shuts itself down. Like, my account will always be there, and I'm just kind of... I love Twitter. I hate Twitter, but I love Twitter so much. <laughs> TikTok or Snapchat could finally start expanding? Yeah. Yeah, those could be viable, for sure. Uh, I just hate Facebook. <laughs> uh, so advance wars. <laughs> Congratulations, Savior. You, uh, I couldn't stop once you said it. I just have, like, I have strong feelings about threads. <laughs> My apologies. I hope that all is, uh, I don't know. It's not, like, the end of the world. You know who I am anyway. You know what I'm saying. I'll, uh... I mean, I think this is, like, the second time that I... In this stream that I said I was gonna check out a VOD. I don't know that I will just because I'm tired. But I'll have every intention to, um... See what you had to say on it. Um, because I always like your thoughts as well. And, uh, I'm looking at... I can't navigate the internet anymore. <laughs> and I think... I'm just on Wikipedia looking for, like... And it, I just want a list. Okay, let me just do an internet search for Advance Wars Game List. I just want a list. You can also DM me for those thoughts. You're allowed to do that as my friend. Aww! Thanks, Xavier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I wouldn't want to make you type it out. We already talked about it. <laughs> and I kind of don't care that much. I don't want to... See, you just said I could do that, and I'm like, I don't want to bother you. But you literally just said to do so. Come on, Slabby. What's going on? Yeah, give me a voice note. <laughs> I think the thing too about threads is like, it forces me to think about it. It's like, I don't want to think about Instagram and threads and Facebook any more than I have to. But now I like, I have to. <laughs> in, in some way. Oh, there were also Advance Wars like games in Japan before Advance Wars. Oh, they went under a different name. I see. Um, here's our list of games that I pulled up here. Maybe they talk about it. Famicom Boy? Oh, <laughs> Famicom Boy! Famicom Wars. Uh, looks like... Let me read. Hey, right here, right? Oh, uh, okay. Advance Wars is a sub-series of Nintendo Wars series. It's a sub-series? Oh my god, Avier. 
Listen, I'm already on a Pikmin kick. I played Pikmin 1. Uh, I had it since it came out when I was a kid, but I never beat it because it's so hard and I was so sad at my little... at my little, uh, Pikmin dying that I never beat it, but I beat it this week and I'm on my third playthrough of it. I'm on a Pikmin kick. I can't get onto an Advance Wars kick. A Kickman, as it's called! Please, yes. This is... This one's for you, Ruby. Incredible. A Kickman. <laughs> you never have to think choose sleep. I should. Nintendo, what wars did you do? <laughs> Nintendo! <laughs> Nintendo, what's going on? Uh, the Advance Wars series marked the debut of the Nintendo Wars franchise in North America and Europe with Advance Wars on the Game Boy Advance. The series would later make its way onto the Nintendo DS with Dual Strike and Days of Ruin. A sequel to the original was made... Oh, wait. So, Dual Strike's not the second, is it? No, that can't be right. Oh, Black Hole Rising. Yeah, it's... Is this not in order? No, it is. Okay. Um, I'm skipping ahead. A sequel to the original is made Black Hole Rising. Every entry in the series is developed by Intelligent Systems and published by... That's the same as the Fire Emblem. Uh, people. Um, like the Nintendo Wars games, each entry is a tactical role-playing game. Battalion Wars initially held... The Advance Wars name that was dropped prior to release. Huh. Dual Strike's after the second. Yeah, so Dual Strike is third in the United... In, sorry, North America. I'm sorry, Canada and Mexico. I was gonna say United States. It feels like 2.5 instead of a third in a trilogy. Hmm. Yeah, because it is... It has the same... Is Jake in all of them? I'd have to say Jake's my favorite, by the way, Desire. I, I, just because I can't remember the rest. The girl, the rich one in Jewel Strike that with a little brother and their power is money. That girl is my favorite. Sasha, yeah. Money bags. <laughs> just... <laughs> Advance Wars, Advance Wars 2, Black Hole Rising, Game Boy Wars, Advance 1 and 2, Japan only, Advance Wars Dual Strike, Advance Wars Days of Ruin, and then the remake of 1 and 2. So we never got Game Boy Wars, Advance 1 and 2? Or is that just... Okay, well I'm gonna... I mean, I mean, unless Desire wants to explain what this is, if this is a remake, I don't... It's a complex Game Boy Wars Advance 1 and 2. Um, is a compilation for the Game Boy Advance that was included Game Advance Wars and 2. Okay, it's just two. So you would you would have released Game 1 and then 2 and then a bundle a compilation of both of them. Okay. I haven't researched Advance Wars stuff in years. Welcome back. Welcome home. Sasha is Jewel Strike. Colin is also in Advance Wars 2. Okay. Neat. Okay, well, I learned a lot about um, Advance Wars today. <laughs> um, I'm going to play a touch more Sonic, and then I'm going to leave. <laughs> I'm just going to go. And I'm going to pass us off to someone else. But, um... Uh, or in Bridge Zone. I was just playing Sonic 1. This is Sonic 1. Oops, I fell. Frick, you guys! <laughs> Slappy nose. I was just playing Sonic 1 on the Game Gear. I only have one life left, so I'll just call it when I die. Yeah, this is what we were doing. Oh, frick! No, wait. Ah, uh, I die now. No, hold on. Let me load a save state. Let me just load. 
thing about this new one is we can just... Okay, so this is... <laughs> that bubble is me because I'm, uh, the, f the frame rate and the, is, it makes us, inv there's, it's flickering. Anyway. <laughs> I'm just a, I'm just a, uh, I'm just a kid and life is a nightmare. Uh, okay, I don't need those rings, it's fine. Ah, I kept, before Avier came, before you got here, I died in that exact spot like four times because I'm never expecting it. Who is this? I was gonna raid you! No! Leave! I was gonna raid you! Leave! Go back, stream for another half an hour. I was gonna raid you. Welcome in. <laughs> it took too long. How often do we get to raid each other? Like never, I'm here on a Friday. Thanks TMG Sean. Welcome in TMG Sean. And folks, I'm Slab. And I use they them pronouns and gender neutral language. And I like games with grids in them. You know it. I started today by finishing Life After Magic, which is a visual novel that's free on Steam. It was very cute. And then I was like, let's play some Game Gear Sonic games. Um, and we went into a deep dive about Sonic characters in the Archie comics. And then we are now playing. And then we went into it. Well, then we went into a, a rant about threads. The Instagram thing. And now I am back to just finishing a little bit of Sonic 1 on Game Gear. So, what were you up to? What's your new favorite obscure Sonic character? Jeffrey... Jeffrey St. John. I still have his tab open. Without a question, Jeffrey St. John. Look at him. For the 50th time today, here's Jeffrey St. John. All right. <laughs> I love him. You're playing Dead Cells? What's Dead Cells? Oh, you were playing um, a, a different game I don't remember the name of. Honey the Cat, let's go. I've seen him before. Sean, I saw so many new Sonic characters. New to me. Incredible. Is Dead Cells a shooting game? Yeah, Metal Wolf Chaos. But the final boss was too hard. That's too bad. <laughs> Literally had a one. Let me. Uh, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna run around while we chat. Literally had a one hit KO move I could hardly avoid. Is that like a arcade style game? Please, Sonic, stay on the platform. Oh, frick! Oh my gosh. I keep dying in this spot and I almost did it again. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Ball is life. <laughs> you gotta when Sonic balls up. That's what it is all about. Bam. And... <clears throat> Easy baby game for babies. Ended up watching the ending scene on YouTube. How'd it go? Leap of faith. The thing about Sonic is you take a leap of faith and then there's spikes at the bottom. Uh, and that's why I hate Sonic even though I love Sonic so much. It was surely more Metal Wolf Chaos again. <laughs> I bet you thought you were going to play Spider-Man today, huh? <laughs> A little. <laughs> oh, is this auto-scrolling? Oh, what? There's an auto-scrolling in Sonic?
Can you leave? Can you can you leave? Okay, I'll just I'll just go. I've never seen an auto scrolling in Sonic before. It is really funny that um you can't see Sonic in the shield on stream. Oh no 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 no. Hey now. You can't have a bridge fall over when you're auto scrolling. Oh, excuse me, sir. But yeah, switched over to Dead Cells. It's a 2D hack and slash roguelike rogue light that I bought the other day. Oh, gotcha. It's very good, but very gross. Yeah. I can imagine. Oh, 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 okay. We gotta go. We gotta go, Sonic. We got a deadline. Oh, okay. This is so weird. Oh, we're going up? Dude, please. Oh, I'm such a gamer. Where are we going? I'm not gonna get that. This is Sonic 1, yeah. This is Sonic 1 on the Game Gear. This is Bridge Zone. And it's auto-scrolling. And what the frick? Oh, I almost fell. Dead Cells also has Twitch integration? Really? It's a fun time. That's super cool. I never... I guess I don't know what Dead Cells is. Dead Cells is just one of those games that I've, like, heard the name of a bunch of times. And I, like... I don't know. I decided I didn't want to look into it, I guess. I saw I didn't turn it on, though, because I'm not sure I'll go back to it. Interesting. Um, there I go. He's still alive. Dude, why is the bottom of your map so low? Just let me live. Just let me live by killing me faster. Oh, my- my life- icon was is under the water on the bottom left it goes under the water now this is super interesting though um does anyone know if this is the only time sonic's ever been like auto scrolling like it's really thrown me not thrown me off but like it's thrown me for a loop Oh. He wants to go fast, though. Like, this is so unique. Tails has an auto-scrolling game. Oh, maybe they were- they were, uh, testing it out. Is it the- Is it a Game Gear one? Like, the Tails adventure? Tails flight adventure, whatever? Oh, I didn't make it. Oh, that's really funny. Yeah, I wonder... I have to imagine they influ- Frick! Okay, if- One more time, because uh, I think that's the only life I have left. And I'm not gonna, uh... I usually stream for like three hours and we're on hour five. Actually, before anyone got here, before y'all got here, we were talking about how today I'm doing a 1,000 hour stream. So welcome to hour five of 1,000. Um, for no reason. We just like Sonic. <laughs> There's nothing... No donations, no anything. You know, we're just here. 1,000. Tails Sky Patrol, gotcha. That's on here too. Which, uh, you might have already known that. <laughs> duh, duh. Eh. Eh. One more. Actually, I don't want to go up there. There's an extra life up there, and I don't want it. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> okay, this is where I died, so let's be careful here, Sonic. No uppies for Sonic, no. 
It was that one of these bridges broke, wasn't it? Okay, bye. That... Or maybe I just fell? This bridge. You! You gotta look before you leap. That's what Sonic teaches us. Are we there? Are we there yet? Yeah! And I think I have enough coins for mystery level! A thousand hours for Sonic seems pretty on point. Yeah, honestly. Without any save states. I already used a save state, like... <laughs> this is only zone two, I already used save states. This is their... I don't know if there's an emerald in here, because I've never been here before. Before today. But... I'm assuming this is where emeralds are. Oh, that's just a bumper. Oh, sorry if this is dizzying. I didn't make it. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay, I guess I'm done. <laughs> Do I win? No. Maybe I had to get a hundred. I was six away. <laughs> there he goes! There's emotes for everything. Oh, thanks for the claps. GG's. I... When you flip the the sign and it's um, Dr. Robotnik, that means it's bad. You didn't succeed. But if there's something else on it, then you do. So 50 rings? Do you get... F oh, I don't want that level up. I'm doing too good. Please, I want to end the stream. <laughs> um, If you get 50 rings on a regular level and do the th I hit him. Okay, well thanks for the life. I I just tapped him. I must have got squished or something. No, I don't have any coins, huh? I mean rings. <laughs> uh if you get yeah, 50 rings by the end of a regular level you get um to go to that space. And I think if you get probably a hundred rings, then you might get an emerald, I would assume. I had 94. The bumpers, I, I got out of control. Okay, so I have no rings. I have one life. We all have one life to live. So how are you going to live it? Can I hit you? Okay. I'm a little scared, honestly. Oh, frick! Ah! I just hit him with my little toesies. All right. Well, that's all the Sonic I'm going to play today. That's all the stream I'm going to stream today. Yeah, so sad. I, those are like the worst losses. Like, you just tapped my little tippy toe. You just touched my little tippy toe. What the frick? What the frick is going on, kid? All right. Um, thanks for coming here. Thank you to a whopping fig leaf, Avier, and TMG Sean for the raids. Do you believe it? I do. Do you ever wonder what it would be to like to be a kite? <laughs> Hold on. Not everyone who uh, came to stream. We gotta play it again. Thanks for streaming. Hey, you're so welcome. I was gonna raid TMG Sean, but I do have other folks. I do have someone else for you. You're gonna love them. Because I do. And it's rude if you don't. Okay. <laughs> no. Hold on. We gotta watch this for a second. Ready? Mute. Hey, do you ever wonder what it would be like if you could be a kite? I do. Okay, thanks hey, for coming yeah, here. <laughs> that's it. That's that's the that's the video of the day. <laughs> I'm always thinking about that. Do you ever wonder what it would be to like if you could be a kite? 
I do. <laughs> uh, okay. Hey. Who wants to see Among Us? <laughs> Among Us. Among Us. <laughs> We're gonna throw it back to when that was popular. But thank you so much for the raids. Uh, if you have... If you have enjoyed yourself, if you've hung out and enjoyed yourself, go ahead and drop that follow. I would love to have you back. You even never have to chat. You can always lurk. I pride myself on being able to talk to myself a lot and be lurker friendly. I also appreciate the chats. Ruby, thank you. Thank you for being here. Thanks for sticking around. Um, TMG Sean, thanks for being here. I hope y'all have a good day. Desire, thanks for being here. Colopsia. Um Avier, Hika. Uh Pause, Fig Leaf, thanks for being here. Neo Doodles, thanks for being here. S uh, you, Robo Steven, thanks for being here. <laughs> My laundry is probably done. I gotta go get that, y'all. Uh, CJ Clementine? Oh my gosh, thanks for being here. I'm missing people. See, there's- I like- I like calling people and saying thanks, but... Oh goodness gracious, do I not have the memory to be... Naming everyone like this. But thank you everyone who I missed. I loved you very I love you very much. Why'd I pass tense that? Dang, slab. Thanks for the stream. Thanks for hanging out, CJ Clementine. Here's a quick recap. We played Life After Magic and I think Avier asked how or maybe it was TMG Sean asked how was it? It was great. Um Content warning for some transphobia in the form of one of the characters coming at it is non-binary and then other characters like internally we're hearing like the internal thoughts of the narrator on that and i didn't need to hear it <laughs> but it's not like everyone is not transphobic at the end but it's a game about like magic ends and then it's like a sailor moon scout team are like losing their magic and they have to figure out what's going on while also learning relearning the power of friendship all right it was very cute then we learned all about different archie comics characters i love jeff jeffrey saint john um we're gonna i have a raid target i generally don't like yeah i have a raid target i generally don't like when people do because it's hard for me to reject a suggestion. Even if people are like, it's okay if you don't go there. So until I... Till I grow... <laughs> myself, internally. But thank you. Uh, we learned about Advance Wars. We, we, we ranted about threads. Um, speaking of threads, I live on Twitter most of all. I can't help it, I love it there. <laughs> Slob, if you don't reject my suggestions, I'll be very cross. If I don't reject them, so I have to reject them. Sean, I'm not going to stream on April Fool's as I am Crab. However, that was a good advice. I liked it a lot. We're going to raid my friend Luriday. Uh, Luriday is playing Among Us with a bunch of VTubers. So... Maybe he'll find some new people you like. I don't know, maybe you'll see them. That actually hurt! TMG Sean, you were gonna be cross with me though. Oh gosh. Please copy and paste this raid message as we head over there. Am I missing anything? Thanks for being here! I said it before, I'll say it again. Listen, it's fine if I just stream by myself, you know? It's fun. But, it's way more fun when people are here, let's be honest. Okay? Right? So thank you for being here. Thanks for chatting, thanks for lurking, thanks again TMG Sean, Avier, and Figly for the raids. And, yeah, or badges? You get a badge, TMG Sean. Congratulations on your Cascade badge. Ruby gets the Ruby badge, and CJ Clementine gets the 
avocado badge. Is that what you wanted? I don't know if I said badges or or what, but that's how I decided to interpret it. <laughs> Nowhere can I return mine. Oh, the of course, of course. Um, thank you for attending. Please recycle your name badges here. Just leave them on your way out by the door, okay? Just leave them on the way out. All right. I gotta fold my laundry now. Avocado bad? Okay, I'm taking back your avocado badge. You get the sunlight badge. Okay, once again, let's scream on our way over there. Thank you very much. You're so welcome, CJ Clementine. I've been slab. Don't forget to do your laundry, okay? Thank you for attending. Please recycle your badges here. Okay. Bye bye. Slap, 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 slap. Okay. Slap, 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 slap. Slap, 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 slap. Tell him, Meshi. Slap, slap. Slap, 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 slap. Slap, 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 slap. 